Hey, and welcome to Time Capsule here on the Games Done Quick Hot Fix. It's the show where we travel back in time to your favorite years in gaming and show off awesome speedruns of games that were released in the same year. I am your host, Smooth Operative. Thank you so much for joining us. And we have quite the lineup for you tonight. I hope you brought snacks because we are revisiting some movie games, starting with 2005's The Matrix, Path of Neo, and later Peter Jackson's King Kong. But before we get into it, I do want to mention that AGD Q 2023 online will be January 8th through the 15th and the second submission period specifically for games released after September 1st is now open until November 12th so you can visit gamesdonequick.com for more information on that uh, and if you'd like to follow all things GDQ just use the command exclamation mark links in the twitch chat for access now then I've been waiting patiently for this run all week uh, please welcome second place 92 for the matrix path of neo hey what's going on everybody my name is second hey. place 92 I'm here to run the matrix path of neo on the ps2 right on well whenever you're ready we can get right into it yep i'm ready for the countdown whenever yeah count us down sp all right three two one go all right good luck thank you thank you all right so uh right off the bat with this game uh we have a uh, frame perfect trick that can save you a couple seconds uh morpheus is going to give uh, his dialogue about the red and blue pill and if you hit the x button at a certain point i'm probably not going to get it because it's really hard uh you can pick the red pill like a few seconds early you wake it's probably up not going to get it oh my god i got it what the whatever you <laughs> hey <laughs> i've gotten that i think that's the first time i've ever gotten it in a run i've only done gotten it in practice <laughs> oh yeah how deep so yeah, that saves like maybe like seven seconds because you don't have to sit through all his dialogue before he gives you the pill choice. It adds up. This first level is like a dream sequence. It's basically just a test. Uh, uh, like if you beat the whole thing, the game lets you pick like whatever difficulty you want. So since it's a speed run, we want to lose this section as quickly as possible so we can just start off on easy mode. And the third wave is the fastest one that can kill us, so we have to get through the first two because the guards on the first two are too weak. It would take too long to kill us. <laughs> I see that. So now we got guys with assault rifles show up so they can kill us much faster. And now we're on easy mode. Yeah, there's like a lot of waves that go through that. There's like more soldiers after that. Then you have to fight an agent and then you have to fight Agent Smith himself. And if you do all that, then you can play on like the hardest difficulty. Oh, OK. So that's interesting. It's like determined just by this intro on like what difficulty you're going to play, like depending on how you play. Yeah, that's cool. I don't think I've seen that in a game. Very interesting. Yeah, this first level is basically just like a stealth level. If you do anything that you're not supposed to do, you just get caught immediately. We've tried to find like a way to skip any part of this, but it's the no go so far. <laughs> Is the community very big for uh, the Matrix Path of Neo? Go now. No, nah, it's pretty pretty small. Very small. The officer to the right. Wait, hide behind that filing cabinet. I'm the only one, I think, who actively runs it on console. There's a few people that run it on PC, but surprisingly, the PC version is actually slower than the console version. Oh, weird. That's like, that's Cross rare, I find, with right speedruns. Yeah. It's because of, there's a specific, like, uh, bug that only happens on the PS2 or uh, the console version. There's, like, a point in the game where you have to, uh, the game gives you a choice between, like, five different missions. 
And for some reason on the console, when you play on like from level select where you're and you the game basically thinks you beat the game already, uh, it only makes you do one of those five missions and then it just oh boots you to the next like sequence altogether. So you basically skip like seven missions by playing on console. Yeah, that adds and, up, I guess. <laughs> and some of those missions are really annoying, so it's really good. This Anderson guy's either slick or stupid. Probably locked himself in a room somewhere. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be in his shoes when those suits get hold of him. I hear that. I'm going to search these halls. Stay here. Someone's approaching from the opposite end of this hall. Step around Tom, the corner. Stay close to the desk. There is an open filing cabinet behind her desk. Hide there. Hide in the cabinet, not against the wall, Neo. I thought I heard her say, like, what are you doing? So what is this wo woman thinking right now? <laughs> Have you seen Mr. Anderson? Anderson? No, I haven't. If I do, I'll be sure to let you know. There is an office at the end of the next hall. It will lead you outside. Get there as fast as you can. He says get there as fast as you can, but if you turn this corner too quick, that cop just catches you. Nuts. Metacortex, how may I direct your call? As soon as that door opens, we can just bolt, Agent and then they can't Brown catch us. On line two. He's over here. So normally, this next level would be like a whole like level where you climb the building, you climb the scaffolding, you run from the cops and the agents. But uh, the game, conveniently enough, gives you a choice to just like skip this level. All you do is walk back towards the window, and then it just lets you choose to get captured when you skip the entire level. <laughs> I love how you have to actually choose accept capture. <laughs> <laughs> I accept. Just snuck through that entire office, but you know what? Take me. <laughs> Alright, now we get to the... The the next like batch of levels is just all tutorial stuff. Just pretend he's your old boss. They want to make sure you're prepared to be the one. So when Neo was sitting in the chair, just like and learning kung fu and stuff in like two seconds, this is probably what he was doing. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> I'll be monitoring your health level. If you get hit, you can recover some of your health by avoiding additional damage. Take too much damage. And I'm pulling the plug. I'll download new skills as you progress. Keep practicing silent takedowns for now. I'm actually shocked that these enemies don't hear Neo coming. He's like literally just running at them. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Given these soldiers he's he's light-footed. Now would be a good time to drive through the enemy strikes with your own. One more thing. I've hidden useful items in some of these crates. Crack open the crates to find them. Crates. Yeah, the fastest way to kill these guys is just grab one of them, and then you can, like... Oh, of course, I didn't want to do it there, but... <laughs> you can grab two enemies and, like, put them together and kill them both at the same time. Practice makes perfect. Ah, oh, yeah, the two-for-one special. Let's cause some real pain. My favorite one is uh, not this wave, but the next one. The guy's gonna appear, and I'm just gonna like grab him as he spawns and just slam him on the ground. 
not bad. Let's try some judo. Oh my god. <laughs> That's judo for you. So, uh, what's with the outfit? Oh, that? I don't know. I think it fits the seam. You don't like it? I love the banter between Neo and the other guy. If you can sneak into that control booth without triggering an alarm, I'll place a bonus Yeah, there's good in the characters area. in the Matrix, so this is kind of funny. Like, I'm curious, actually, those of you in chat, who here has actually played this game? I know probably most of you have seen the movies, but I'm curious who has played the game. These soldiers stun you, they'll go for a throw, so watch your back. about that weapon weapon placed so yeah, since we killed those guys without them setting off the alarm he's gonna spawn us a weapon that'll help for the final part of this level i've got the okay, high nice. score for ninja crisis and if you get caught here these guys can set off the alarm and it just spawns like a couple extra guys so it's not like a massive time loss if you can kill them all fast enough So now here, the game gives you one of the most important abilities in this game, the jump kick, because we use that through the whole game to like move faster. You like want to be constantly jump kicking every anytime you're just moving. Oh, okay, so that you said that's going to be kind of the movement for the rest of the game. Yeah. <laughs> Fun. Definitely familiar with okay, with man. that. I think we know that jumping sometimes in, in the speed run is a thing or or rolling. <laughs> and you can actually uh, when it gives you the option to like upgrade your skills and stuff later, like you can upgrade it and it's actually worse. So you want to not do that because then you lose that movement tech. Oh, weird. Is there like a like a talent tree in this game? Yeah. Oh, OK. And now we unlock the ability to slow down time, which is very helpful as well. Fight. Yeah, this this part's just like a gauntlet of enemies until it's gonna be like one final boss at the end. This is a cool arena. I like it. Fight. So this is all probably like, uh, I guess, e easy for you now. Uh, SP, you've said you've been running this game for a year now? Yeah, just about. Do you find that you've uh, improved quite a lot in, in that year's time? Oh, yeah. Like, even, like, practicing for this show in particular, I've come <laughs> up with new, strat new strategies for certain parts that I didn't do before. Oh, that's awesome. Excellent. Well, we definitely appreciate you being on the show. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you letting me be here as well. Yeah. All right, so now we get to use that weapon that we got against this guy. Oh, man, this dude looks cool. I need to get me one of those shirts. Okay, he's being a little trolly. There we go. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the AI in this game is very dependent on how well your run can go, because they can just decide to block and dodge everything whenever they feel like it sometimes. 
Is there a lot of RNG throughout this run? Mostly because of the enemy AI, I'd say, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> so we're going to be seeing probably a lot of adaptive strats. I'm ready. Yeah. And there's a neat little trick. Uh, you see how that, that skill tree just showed up and I like skipped it immediately. Uh, if you have the memory card in the console, uh, it'll do like a loading like uh, icon and it'll take like a few seconds before you can skip it. But if you take the memory card out, then you can just skip that immediately and there's no loading thing. So, so if you don't have the memory card in, do you have to worry about like saving your game or it's just, it doesn't matter? You would come. Nah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Are legendary. Today, you will learn that mine are as well. This guy's a very big troll. <laughs> most, of my, most of the time. But... If he would let me grab him, we can just catch him in a stun lock combo and just keep doing the same thing over and over again. Challenge. Now, Trinity pops into the simulation to give us a hand here. Doesn't really do much, but I guess you can distract him a little bit. <laughs> also, moral support. We love you, Trinity. Dodge his attacks, Neo. Yes, he's being a little bit of a troll. He's not letting me grab him. But once I grab him, I can just do this forever. That's a nice trick. And he starts spawning clones of himself. And you gotta figure it? out which is the real one. I don't know. In, in true I Matrix don't, fashion. I don't know if it's the same one every time. Is there a way to like differentiate between them or Stay it's still. just kind of Pretty much guessing. the only way to tell is uh, when you hit the real the real one, the health bar will go down. Oh, fair. <laughs> the fake ones die in like one hit. <laughs> I think it's this one here. I say that as if you know which one I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up. Yeah, the only thing that sucks about speedrunning this game, rather than just playing it casually, is you don't get to see all the awesome cutscenes. Right, because you've been skipping through all the cutscenes. I imagine it, <laughs> uh, all of that adds up, too. Yeah. Between all the in-game cutscenes and then they show a lot of stuff from the movies, it's, it's pretty fun just to do a casual playthrough even. Do you find that a lot of the scenes that they, or a lot of the cinematics that they play in the game are, like, direct from the movie almost, like, uh, shot for shot, or they kind of take some liberties? Yeah, they definitely take liberties, like, with all this stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> But yeah, there are a lot of parts that are very close to the movies. This whole section is really funny. It almost seems like we're playing a horror game right now. And yeah, this part's a little creepy because we're like chasing <laughs> a ghost here. 
I'm getting like Fatal Frame vibes. I usually try to do the jump slash because these guys like die in one hit from the jump slashes. This game is weird with how it deals with inputs sometimes. Like, if you like hit too many buttons at once, sometimes it just won't do what you want it to do until you like slow down. Like, I'll be trying to jump and he just won't do it sometimes just because there's too many buttons going on at once. Oh, yeah. Sometimes, like, I know for a keyboard, like, my keyboard used to ghost all the time and it was so frustrating. <laughs> so I feel you on that. I guess that's maybe a console thing, too. All right. He let me grab him right away and didn't do anything. That's nice. Now we're going to learn one of the most important moves in the game, the Killing Blow. Which is a move we can like charge up and it almost insta-kills like most enemies. That's mostly good for like the bosses. So we're getting that skill up right now? Yeah. Oh, I, I see the power. <laughs> Watch out. This place is starting to fall apart. Yeah, when Neo learns a move and it does like the code thing and he like flexes, we call that the code flex. The code flex, love it. Now we spawn all these guys and then we just slash them down one by one. Somebody left. Oh, this is unusual. Hello. There must be an enemy left, maybe behind the fire. Okay, usually the enemies over here get killed by the ceiling collapsing. That's that was odd. That I've never, I've never seen that before. Classic, <laughs> classic uh, speedrunner quote. It's a classic marathon moment. That's never happened before. <laughs> <laughs> or, or curse, as as chat s says. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never actually trying to do these execution moves, and he just does them anyway. Sometimes Neo just has a mind of his own. My friend, you are a natural. P, you're a natural at this game. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Fun fact, um, back in 2006 when YouTube first became a thing, uh, me playing this game was one of the first things I uploaded to YouTube. No way. Do you yeah. still have like the video like lingering around on YouTube or is it like private now? Uh, it's still around. I actually don't have access to that account anymore because I lost the email that was like, associated with it. <laughs> but Aww. the videos are still there, yeah. Is it also under the name that you go by today or under a different name? No, nah, it's completely different. Completely different. Well, it's out there, my friends, if, if anyone wants to dig for it. 
There's some That's other really embarrassing cool, videos on that channel, so I'd advise you not to look that up. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, well, we're not naming names or anything. I like how I'm just executing an invisible demon that's already dead. Oh my god, <laughs> you are. Okay, well that went very smoothly. I do think it is cool though that they kind of, I don't know, created a world of what it might look like. You know, Neo actually practicing all of these moves and getting it together. It's kind of cool to see. And I like when games like are adapt movies, but then they add in like things to like fill the gaps. Yeah, and and you said you are a very big fan of uh, the Matrix. Uh, are you a fan of the whole um, Matrix saga, or or just the first one? Yeah, I like all of them, but the first one's definitely my favorite. Right. What was it? Did you see it in the theaters? I don't think so. Not that I don't think I can so. Remember after the fact. So, so I guess then uh, the Matrix is is your favorite movie. The rules of this program are simple. Yeah, it's definitely up there. An enemy, get nice. Achieve the goal score within the. So this level's fun because it's uh, basically an auto scroller. It's, I you uh, I just have to wait for that timer to go down. I have to beat a certain amount of waves for it to let me go to the next level. But it's like we're basically going to be sitting here for like two or two or three minutes once I beat enough waves. <laughs> Well, Neo's and, certainly getting the hang of it. <laughs> and uh, fun fact about this level, uh, anyone who has seen the movie uh, Legend of uh, Drunken Master with Jackie Chan, this uh, whole level is actually a reference to that movie. It was a fight scene that's like this exact thing. Oh, funny. I, I haven't seen that. I I'll have to watch it now. Yeah, it's one of my favorite Kung Fu Jackie Chan movies. Oh, awesome. Type. He's upgraded with a ranged attack. Yeah, I basically just have to beat enough waves until he says like uh I've beaten Morpheus's record and then I just then I can just sit here until the timer goes down. If you can put this staff to good use. The music in this level is probably one of my favorite tracks in the game too. <laughs> I was gonna comment on it. I feel I feel like it sounds very Tetris, but you know we're we're in in the dojo, kind of kicking ass. Incredible. Interesting well, choice. It's fun because you don't have to worry about like how fast you're killing these guys. You can just beat the crap out of them for fun. That's a new record. All right, so now that he said that's a new record, now I'm going to kill every enemy except for one, and then I'm just going to sit here and let them not attack me. Do you have to kind of give the last enemy like the run around so that um, the enemy doesn't try to hit you? Yeah, like I can just stand here and he's just going to... He's gonna stand there. He might try to throw his like uh, <laughs> little axe at me, but yeah, we're we're just gonna be sitting here for about two and a half minutes. Oh my gosh! He's like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> Neo's foot is like half off the <laughs> half off the side too. He's over there, like, so are we jiggling or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the perfect time to go for a bathroom break or take a drink. Yeah, get some water, stretch my friends. Um, 
I want to know though, SP, like what, what is it that got you into speedrunning this game, like specifically? Um, I know you're a big Matrix fan, but like, mm -hmm. uh, what was it that you decided, hey, I'm, I'm going to start speedrunning this? Uh, well, I looked on the leaderboard online, saw there was only one person on there besides me, and I was like, hey, I can do this too. <laughs> The, and usually did. the usually the criteria when I try to think about speedrunning a game is like I just try to pick like is it one of my favorite games like can I tolerate playing it over and over again and then I just look up the run and see if it's got any like crazy tricks that are gonna like make me lose my mind right do you speedrun a lot of other games as well yeah I have a large array of games I speedrun and I'm always trying to learn more nice it's a fun it's a fun hobby speedrunning yeah i started uh 2017 i started speedrunning super mario 64 which i know is a lot of people's like first speed game <laughs> it's a good one definitely a, a lot of people's introduction to speedrunning also and then i started streaming in like 2020 and then i just slowly picked up games here and there do you have uh like a set stream schedule uh not particularly no just kind of whenever you want yeah, I try to do every other day if I can, but work is, uh, you know, not always brutal. So. Oh yeah, it's yeah, that, it's hard trying to make time for all the <laughs> the fun things that you want to do. But um, I will say that if if those of you watching are enjoying the run, make sure you follow uh, our runner Second Place ninety two here on Twitch, and the link is in the chat. So I made it easy for you. And also, yeah, this music a, is like still going. <laughs> <laughs> I do a mixture of speed running. I also do a lot of casual playthroughs. So chances are you'll like something from my channel. <laughs> what have you been playing like most recently uh, casually? Uh, for October, I did like a lot of horror games. So I played through a bunch of, like uh, Parasite Eve, Resident Evil, Silent Hill, stuff like that. Nice. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Time's up. Congrats, Neil. That was amazing. Time. Time's up, I guess. Yeah, back to the actual game now. <laughs> <laughs> now this is uh, probably my least favorite training level coming up because this one they force you to use guns and you can't use uh, physical combat at all. Oh, geez. Okay. Well, wow. All right. You got this. Changing things up this time. If you've never fired a gun before, you're about to have no choice. Oh, and so you don't go getting all fancy with your kung fu. I'm taking away your ability to fight hands. So, are the guns in this game like a lot harder to control than just, uh, you know, swords and things that we were w working with earlier? Uh, not really. Use cover and shoot over and around corners to it's just annoying being limited to like one thing right so after this training session then you know sky's the limit i assume yeah okay nice basically the goal of this one is to kill this uh the, this guy that's shooting at us uh we can't hurt him until the end of the level but we basically just have to chase him through this whole level that's fine yeah. little tag never hurt anyone you want to you want to stay away from him because if you get close to him then he'll just like start trying to like physically attack you and he'll slow slow him down they basically just want to lag behind let him run to the end and then just wait till he goes to the next area and shoot all the other guys on the way runs and jumps to catch big air, target an enemy, then fire away. Not only does it make you hard to hit, but it looks cool. As the level goes on, they'll like, uh, give you different guns. Chat is wondering if you forgot the case. 
couple of cases. Of that. <laughs> That's what I want to know. <laughs> well, did we forget the case? These guys are playing. What's in the case? You gotta Tell us. Up your What's in the box? <laughs> no, don't answer that. <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> There are some like little briefcases that appear throughout the levels if you do like certain you were like uh fulfill certain requirements that'll unlock like secrets and stuff. Oh okay. That, so that'd be like maybe more for a hundred percent or something kind of run. Yeah. Like in that first uh kung fu training level there was one that popped up uh, I could have grabbed because I uh stealth killed everybody. So the any percent category, is this the only category that you work on or do you work on other ones as well? Yeah, this is the only one so far. There's like, we have a few other categories Like we have categories for like the specific movies because like certain levels like kind of pertain to each movie. Oh, OK, that makes a lot of sense, actually. But did they go in order? I, I guess they do. Yeah. Make it easy for you to split them up. <laughs> I thought about uh, it's not an official category on the leaderboard, but I've been thinking about uh, trying to do a like a run on the hardest difficulty because I haven't played the hardest difficulty like since I was a kid. And I just remember oh, it was wow. really really rough. <laughs> you should. That would be like a fun kind of challenge thing to do to really test your skills in this game. I mean, you already have skills, but I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm interested to see how much harder it would be. Cause like in this game, you see, I'm just running around getting shot everywhere. Like I'm a, I'm a bullet sponge, <laughs> and on on hardest difficulty, you just get wrecked. <laughs> yeah. All right, and now we get the infamous dojo scene between Morpheus and Neo. Oh, wow. I saw a glimpse of like a real clip. I didn't realize. So I guess it's both. Good to know. Yeah, they have a lot of clips from like the actual movies. Now we just now we finally get to use that killing blow that we unlocked earlier and just get Morpheus in two hits. Sorry, Morpheus. Good, but you're faster than that. Then we charge up another killing blow as he's coming towards us. Hit him a couple times so our focus goes back up. And we do one more. If he would get close to me. Oh, but... What did you say the power up uh, nickname was again? I want the, the code flex. The co code flex, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was trying to remember things. There we go. Yeah, sometimes Morpheus is a troll and doesn't let me kill him immediately. So we just smack him around a little bit. Come, Neo. There is something. I designed this room with the Matrix in mind. Catch so now we have a little race against Morpheus. Which, uh, unfortunately for him, he's not going to be able to win no matter what. You see that big, that large wall that's in front of me that the game wants me to climb? We're going to be able to just <laughs> skip right past that because if I angle myself properly here and then jump right off and go far enough, it's right up at the top of the tower. Wow. That's quite the heavenly glitch, I must say.
That's like one of the few like glitch slash tricks in the run. Very cool. going in all right and that's uh that's the that's it for the tutorial levels now we're on to the actual game finally and then after all that tutorial nonsense we're dealt we're uh immediately thrust into one of the more technical levels of the game wouldn't be a lot of fast-paced movement during this level So uh, after this code flex, the game's gonna checkpoint me, and then I'm just gonna go to the menu and retry, so that it just despawns uh, the guards and gives my health back. Well, that's why we don't need a memory card because this game has decent checkpoints. You want to be careful when you're jump kicking everywhere because sometimes Neo will just like go towards like the fire extinguishers on the wall and just blow himself up. And here's another spot I can retry to get my health back. Just to be safe. Here we just run. Oh, no, not like that, Neo. Sideways up the wall, please. No, not straight up. <laughs> Sideways. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. Come on, Neo. Of course, it's gonna not go the way I want it to. There we go. That's how that was supposed to go. Let's grab the health and the gun. Here they come! Neo, I'm here! Apoc. The hell was he just shooting at? There was nothing there. Um, sir? <laughs> we grab this uh, grenade launcher over here before that'll be useful in the next level. <laughs> that was a pretty good one. So now the uh, now the skill tree is actually going to let me choose like uh, abilities to unlock. Now that we're past the tutorial stuff, so basically it doesn't really matter what you upgrade. Just don't upgrade the jump kick by accident, because then you're going to be completely screwed. So what other kind of things can you upgrade Trinity, in this game? Let's go. Uh, you can upgrade to like we get more like combos us. and there's just different moves like i just upgraded the weapon strip le Neo, level two that lets me like grab someone's gun and shoot them with it oh okay there's like there's tons of different this. abilities hurry search for a way through it's too thick even a grenade wouldn't open this there's like a there's like a killing blow that you can do like in the air later in the game too Uh, we want to grab this demo pack. And Neo is uh, not very... Uh, he's immune to explosions, so I can just blow this up right in his face and it doesn't really do much. Oh my goodness. Uh, 
but uh, don't yeah. do that for this one because uh, the the ceiling will collapse and kill you in one hit. <laughs> that one you want to get out of the way. <laughs> okay, noted. You really saved this one. So now we're just waiting for the soldiers to blow this door because I don't have another debt pack. So now we have another uh, another instance of the game where we're gonna have to sit and wait for a little bit. The the few sections in the game like that. Yeah, that's all good. Where uh, some other stuff. Uh, we set the debt pack. Oh no! How will we leave? Debt pack. Run back to our friends and oh no, the stairs is gone. I'm saying that Neo can just jump his way out of anything. Anyone got a debt pack? I think I saw another debt pack back that way. I'll get it. Neo, hang on. We'll get to you. <laughs> and then our friend, the agent, shows up. So now uh, we just have to get him around this pole here, and then we can just. Oh, well, wait, no. There's an agent here. What do I do? Okay, now we can just stand here. Oh, wait, I think he's hold on, not quite at the right spot. <laughs> kind of just play ring around the rosy with him, but eventually he'll just be in a spot where he can't come get you. Okay, I think I think we're I think we're good here. Yeah, now we just stand here until they blow up the wall and we can get back there. Uh -oh. Well, I guess since we're uh, waiting through this, uh, I'll remind all of you that uh, AGDQ 2023 online is taking place January 8th through the 15th, and the second submission period, specifically for games released after September 1st, is open now until November 12th, so you have a few more days if you want. Uh, you can visit gamesdonequick.com for more information uh, on that. Oh my god, this is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've uh, we've we've tried to find a way to skip this part because you you just have to get to that ceiling up above, but there's like an invisible wall around the whole thing that you can't climb up to. Uh, he's like in front of this pole, like hold me back. <laughs> <laughs> These agents are so <laughs> deadly. Yep. <laughs> yep. We've got to get that agent off Neo. And uh, after this cutscene, be careful you don't just accidentally walk okay, off the edge here go. and jump over the gap because I did that once on a really good pace run. Oh gosh. And Lesson then it, learned. It, and it doesn't checkpoint you after that part until after you cross the gap because it sends you back before the agent waiting part. Oh man, so you have to like wait with him all over again. Yeah, so if you do that by accident, that's pretty much a dead run. <laughs> Okay, well, we've got, got some tips. I think it, um, if someone were interested in learning this game on console, how, how willing to help would you be? Um, do you think you would be active in the community to help? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, uh, we have a Discord. There's a handful of people in there that can definitely give you tips if you needed any. Nice. Good to know. I was gonna not blow myself up because my health is kind of low, but I regen, so we're good. Neil, stay here, cover us. 
<laughs> she says, Neo, stay here and cover us as I just run ahead. <laughs> it's like, well, sorry about that. I don't really pay attention to what I upgrade. I just make sure I don't hit that one. That's the jump kick upgrade. Are they all like in a specific spot? So it's easy for you to remember like which one not to touch. Yeah, that's that second okay. ring. The bottom right one is the one that has the jump kick. Upgrade in. I really like that. Um, I guess UI for like the upgrades. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. And here's the infamous uh, lobby shooting spree scene from the first movie. Yes, let's get it. Damn. They, they, they died real quick. I didn't even realize I killed them all yet. <laughs> Just that good. Now we got these SWAT team guys that show up. Uh, you gotta kick, jump, and kick them to get rid of their shields, or else you can't do anything to them. If you try to like go up and hit them, they'll just smack you with the riot shield. Oh right, <laughs> so good. Yeah, when he just like picks them up in the air and slams them on the ground, that's like my favorite move. <laughs> it's like so satisfying. It's like the fastest one too, because it like almost kills most and most regular enemies die like instantly from it. So now we get the. Uh, Probably the most infamous ability of Neo, maybe second most infamous next to actually stopping bullets, but we get to uh, dodge bullets. Now we can do the infamous move where he does this. Trinity, and that allows Trinity to be able to kill the agents he's distracted. Thanks, Trin. You did all the work. There's a little bit of RNG in this level because this helicopter is gonna show up at three different spots. And the second time it shows up, I want it to appear on the bottom of the or the, the further down part of the building so that a grenade launcher will spawn up top because if you if it if the helicopter comes at the top part the grenade launcher doesn't spawn so if it comes from the bottom then it'll be good rng so if it doesn't spawn do you have to reset or are you just kind of try to make it work uh, it might spawn from one of the guards. It's just not a hundred percent chance. It just okay. means you have to. It'll be slower to kill the uh, helicopter. So it spawned down here. So that's good. Okay, cool. And now we we want to kill all the soldiers before the agent because if we don't, if we leave any of the soldiers alive, then when we kill the agent, he'll just like morph into one of them. The agent, shoot the agent. And now that because the helicopter spawned down below, now this grenade launcher pops up over here and it makes it a lot easier to kill the uh, helicopter. And uh, on the PC version, on the PC version, you can actually free aim, which makes killing this helicopter a hell of a lot easier. Ooh, interesting. Can't do that on console though, for some reason. Oh, yeah.
Not a hundred percent. I don't. Did I kill the helicopter? I, I don't know. I saw it for like a second. It was yeah, the health bar was really low. <laughs> Either he's really low, or I just one cycled him. I don't know if I've ever done that before. Oh. Oh yeah, I one cycled that helicopter. I don't know if I've ever done that before. Oh yes, you did. Good job. That was probably the best RNG and the helicopter spawns I could have asked for. Now we <laughs> done. Now we learn how to double jump. So we oh, get to cool. this helicopter. And now we have a nice uh, auto scroll section where we uh, shoot a Gatling gun from the helicopter. <laughs> they they move through the the first uh, movie pretty quickly in this game. Yeah. Yeah, the first and second movie are mostly uh, represented in this game. The third movie only has like it's only like the last couple levels that kind of because like the, for those who have seen the third movie, a lot of it, it doesn't even have Neo. It's mostly about the war between the machines and Zion. So there's not much you can do there involving Neo. Right. But you can. Uh, this is an auto scroller, but you can speed it up a little bit if you just kill the enemies like really fast. That'll make Trinity move the helicopter faster. But for the most part, it's just an auto scroller. So, SP, did you see the fourth Matrix movie? Yeah, I watched it uh, like right when it came out on HBO Max. <laughs> what did you think? I thought it was good. Good enough for what it was, you know, coming out like 20 years after the other ones. Gosh, when you put it like that, it's so wild that we got a fourth Matrix movie at all. I know. That's one of those things I never, I thought would never happen, but I was, I'm right. glad it did. It was, it was good enough. You were probably, when you heard the news, so confused and shocked. <laughs> yeah. I mean, then, being a big fan. And then the fact that originally they were gonna, they were gonna launch Matrix and like the newest whatever the newest John Wick movie was like on the same day originally and then they ended up moving them both but oh yeah I, d I do like uh, the John Wick series yeah Keanu is like one of my favorite actors I like pretty much anything he's in <laughs> I think Keanu is one of those actors that's just so uh, versatile you know like you can put him in any role like I I've been watching a few Keanu movies on uh on uh, Tubi that are free right now, and oh man, mm -hmm. he's had some really interesting roles in his life. <laughs> I'll say that much. Agents, you have to use the slowdown or else you can't kill them with the Gatling gun. Okay, fair. So that's what the, uh, like when the screen gets a little bit blurry, that's like the slow mo thing. Yeah. I need to shoot the support beam and collapse that whole section of the building. Pop them all. We got company. Extremely hot Luckily, you don't actually have to shoot this helicopter. If you, I think, if you kill this helicopter, you get like a like a bonus secret thingy. Oh, okay. But you don't have to. Destroy it because she'll just fly down to where Morpheus is either way.
Yeah, those two soldiers. Oh, oh, he, oh he's not dead. I was gonna say they uh, they shoot rockets at you, but if you shoot them before they shoot the rockets, then you don't have to worry about shooting down the missiles. <laughs> but one of them got through. And you can actually shoot and kill Morpheus here if you really wanted to, for whatever reason. <laughs> no, just, I would never do that. Just, just gotta just gotta give him a couple wake up shots. J just on the side, just so he's <laughs> lucid. Get up. All right, and then the next level coming up is the infamous one-on-one uh, -on -one fight with Smith and Neo in the subway station. Ooh, let's go. It's, uh, it's going to be a little more anticlimactic than you think. <laughs> So all we have to do is run down this tunnel, which spawns the subway train. We're not done here. And we make our way over to Mr. Smith here. Load up the killing blow. Blast him into the subway tracks, and he's dead. Nice. And of course, the subway comes and then he steps out like, hey, I'm still here. Then we have another weird, uh, this is a, a weird sequence that like, you know, wasn't in the movie, but it's kind of interesting. Neo goes through this like, the, like alternate reality looking fucking uh, train station. <laughs> Yeah, there's the aerial strike level two. You do not want to upgrade that. <laughs> I guess not. Because then it turns the uh, the regular jump kick into like a a wheel kick kind of thing, where he like stands in place and does like a backflip in the air, and that like doesn't do anything for you. Oh, that can't be good. We just go grab one of these tokens that are floating in the air. So we can get on the train. We gotta gotta pay the token to ride the train. Yeah, this train station looks a little different than the one uh, in the second movie. <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah, the train just is on its side, you know, no big deal. Oh, this is like some doom train, something. Oops. <laughs> Wait, is there smooth jazz playing in the background? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Sure, you know, why not? Now, we can't actually leave the train until this train car is right side up, so we have to keep going in and out until it flips to right side up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep laughing because, like, the music will abruptly stop and then it will, like, start up again. <laughs> just... <laughs> oh, God, it's just giving me, like, infomercial vibes, like, 1-800-THE-1. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Become the you one too. today. Yeah, you too can be as powerful as Neo. And yeah, now we just have to wait here until he calls for the train station, and then we can stop it. Moving to engage! 
now we're back in reality where the soul can kind of kill us again. Now we're at a yet another part where all we have to do here is wait. There's a, uh, you know, S Smith is here, there's a bunch of soldiers, but all we have to do is wait behind this until the game tells us we're good and we can leave. And if you look over here on the side, uh, the soldiers sometimes walk into the train and just die. Kind of funny to watch. Oh my gosh, it's like the AI just can't. Yep, there we go, he just got hit by the train and died. <laughs> Ah, oh, goodness. And there's another one. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I guess they're the enemies, so maybe it's fine. <laughs> but I will say very quirky. So yeah, we just have to wait here until the game says objective updated, and then we have to... Uh, then one of the trains is going to be a flatbed, and we have to jump on it to get out of here. Like, you can fight Smith or the soldiers, but it doesn't, like, speed this up or anything. Okay, so it's just, like, is this, like, a time where you would typically, like, get up and stretch and stuff in your run? Yeah, I, I probably wouldn't at this part just because there's, like, a specific thing that pops up that says objective updated, so I don't want to miss that. Oh, right, right. So so if you, like, came back and you didn't see the pop-up, you'd still just be, like, waiting here? Yeah, unless I <laughs> saw the flatbed train roll by, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> it's like, well, there it goes. <laughs> At least we have to listen to this jamming music while we're waiting. Oh yeah, Nia's in his own club. There we go. Okay, objective updated, so now we can jump down here. As soon as the flatbed train shows up, we can jump on it to get out of here. The train stopped. All right, we're heading in. Easy. It's very fortunate that the game doesn't force you to upgrade the jump kick. I, I would say so, because otherwise, who, who knows how, like, different the timing would be for this game if you didn't have that ability <laughs> the same right. way you do. It, you should try upgrading it just once to see the difference. Just for science. Yeah, do a, do a, you make a new category, <laughs> jump kick this run. Yeah, exactly. I do think some of those kind of categories are cool, though, because, I don't know, then you can kind of just stroll through the game. You can't escape. Yeah, category extensions are like meme categories are always fun. Another game oh, that yeah. I run, uh, Mega Man Legends, we just recently added a bunch of meme categories to the leaderboard. Oh, really? Like, what? so what's your favorite, for example? You can't run forever, and Like, uh, like for Mega Man Legends, um, there's like, um... Uh, there's a bunch of different ones like no no buster like you have to use all this only special weapons or the opposite where you can only use the buster <laughs> the, the only special weapons is like it's a challenge run but it's like almost impossible oh my gosh
Now we get to the part where Neo dies and then doesn't. Spoilers for those who haven't seen the movie. Oh, yeah. I guess we should have prefaced this run with, hey, there's <laughs> yeah. going to be movie spoilers for all the Tr Matrix trilogy. Just so you leave now if you need to. <laughs> or go watch the movies if you haven't. All right. So now we're fighting all three of the two of the agents plus Smith. This was a level that's always like really inconsistent for me, but I was practicing it a bunch. So we want to use the killing blow here and try to get as many of them at once as we can. Like we can kill, like their health bars will go down a bunch and then like they'll just keep uh, switching bodies for a bit, but eventually they'll just stay down. Do they like, share like they... a collective bar? No, nah, there's like those three okay. bars on the side. So, and then like when they disappear into a different body, they'll just like uh, come at you through the walls like that. Oh, geez. Oh, okay. Yeah, now I see the icons on the side. I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, ideally you want to try to get all three of them in one killing blow so you get all three of their health bars down. Wow, that might be the best that levels ever went for me. I just killed all three of them in one shot. Let's go. There have been a couple of moments like that tonight. So proud of you, SP. So hit Smith with a killing blow, and then we just gotta hit him like one more time, and he's dead. Got, gotta get one last big throw yeah, on him. Just <laughs> keep, just keep kick him while he's down for good measure. <laughs> and that I, is I, uh. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say Hugo Weaving, best bad guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, so that is the end of the first movie. Now we move on to the second movie. And so yeah. this next part right here is the part that uh, makes the console version way faster because it's going to give me an option between five different levels here. But because the game thinks I've already beaten the game since we're in level select mode, I only have to do one of them instead of all five. On PC, and, uh, for some reason, this doesn't work and you have to do all five before it lets you advance to the next section. Yeah, you were saying that the PC version is a little bit longer than this. What what would you say is like the time that it would take to do those four extra missions about? Uh, I haven't played those missions in such a long time, but they're all <laughs> very, very, some of them are pretty long. Like one <laughs> okay, of them is you know basically just fair. a long escort mission. Oh, we gotta love the escort missions. I know we've all been there. And then there's a, there's another section like this a little later where we have to choose between three different missions again and it's the same deal where you only have to do one and those ones are even worse oh jeez but here we just want to grab a gun as quickly as we can and start taking these guys out Oh my god, I might actually die. <laughs> I'm not careful. <laughs> okay, we're good. That was close. You got this, you got this. Did they drop? Okay, oh wait. No, that's not the death pack, okay. I found a, I, I came up with a new strat for this level, but they didn't, they didn't drop the death pack, so I can't do it, unfortunately. <laughs> Well, sometimes one of those soldiers will drop a death pack, and after I fight this guy, there's going to be two uh, agents that show up, and I just, like, put the death pack on the floor and blow them both up in one shot. But they didn't drop the death pack, so we'll just have to fight them normally. Yeah, we can't use guns against this guy, because we're actually trying to save him. This is kind of just like a... Just, uh, just beating some sense into him to get him on our side first. <laughs> Did 
The shotgun's my favorite weapon to have here because it kills the soldiers in like one shot. Alright, so now two agents pop in. We gotta beat both of them now. Unfortunately, uh, when Neo becomes the one, quote unquote, his killing blow like changes to a different one, and it's not as good as the other one. I think I, st uh, yeah, that was still the level one one, but it's gonna force me to upgrade the killing blow soon, and it's not gonna be as good. Ah, uh, okay. So, so it does force you to upgrade some of them then. Yeah. I haven't practiced it a bunch, but there's a strat with those two that fight with the two agents where you can throw them out the windows. That's a little hard to aim them towards those windows specifically. Yeah, so. they're like moving around too much. <laughs> they're wiggly. So now we now we get to fight the upgraded agents. Uh, this is the only time in the game you fight these upgraded agents that uh, they heal like over time if you don't uh, kill them quick enough. So I'd like to take them, all three of them, to this little corner over here and just beat the crap out of them. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like, line up, agents. Another thing I didn't mention uh, that actually is going to come into play a little later. Uh, if you uh, use that uh, attack with the uh, where you grab them in the air and spin them like that, if you spin them like against the wall, you get like extra like splash damage. And there's a couple. There's actually a, I don't know if it's if you'd call it a glitch, but there's a uh, a few bosses in the game where if you get them like in a corner and spin them against the wall, you can kill them in like one cycle. One thing that I kind of noticed when I was, uh, I guess, looking into this game in general for, for speedruns is that the console version, it seems like it has almost a certain quality to it that the PC version just doesn't have. Like there's more, um, I don't what know, mist and the colors are a bit more, I don't know, they're like more cinematic. I, I really do like this console version. Um, you're doing a great job, SP. Thanks, I appreciate it. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, the PC version looks like really clean. <laughs> yeah, it's almost yeah. like s sterile. Like you don't see some of the, I don't know, like fog and, and even the green. I mm. noticed right away, like um, some of the greens on, on this console version really do pop out. <laughs> and you gotta, you gotta, it's, it's Matrix green, right? Right. Yeah, the first time I played this game, I played it on the original Xbox. I don't, it's been so long since I played, I don't remember if there's really any differences with the Xbox version. The Xbox is like the only console I ever owned that it actually just broke and stopped working on me. And I, I just never got around to replacing it. <laughs> and you never looked back. I mean, fair. <laughs> yeah. I've been wanting to buy an original Xbox so I can play the Xbox version again at some point in the future. Yeah, it would be fun to like compare, compare them to, as well. See if you can stop the grenade. 
So yeah, this is another uh, sequence where I I, uh, I chose this mission. There was uh, two other different missions I could have chosen besides this one, and I only have to do this one to advance me to the next part. Okay, so you do get to choose the missions. Like, you just pick the shortest one, I assume. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, one of the other uh, missions besides this one that I could choose is like one of the most annoying in the game. So once I found out that there was a glitch where you can skip it, I was like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Yeah, I'm not really much of a PC gamer, so I'd never actually run the PC version. I don't know well, much of what it entails. <laughs> oh. What about you, chat? Are you? Would you say you're more console gamer or more of a PC gamer? I think for me, definitely a PC gamer. I have like a couple of console games, but um, I don't have any consoles set up. So every time I want to play something on the console, I have to like dig it out and set it up. So I'm almost always playing games on the PC. It's interesting. SP is the complete opposite. Yeah, if I look to my left, I have like uh, 15 consoles hooked up to the one TV, so. Oh my goodness. I need to see that. You need to take a picture and show us later. And honestly, I just ha couldn't help but notice like your wall of like games behind you. Yeah. You've got a, that, you've got a that's lot. A, and that's only like a fraction of my collection because the, uh, the rest of the collection's on the other wall. <laughs> exactly. Like, you gotta admire like the dedication to, to the collecting of, of these games and stuff. It's really cool. Yeah, collecting physical games has always been like one of my favorite hobbies. Did that soldier just like... He just like uh, went through the helicopter. <laughs> it just melted. <laughs> Leo, grenade launcher, now. So now we get to fight Seraph. It's another fight from the second movie. Now we now we have the killing blow that we can do in the air, which is pretty nice. Holy shit, it's wingless. He, he can be a bit of a troll. It's like I have practice sessions where I can beat these guys in like a couple combos and then there's ones where they don't stop blocking or dodging my attacks and it takes like a whole minute. <laughs> you got this. That slow-mo punch was always like my favorite move as a kid. It's very cool. <laughs> I think just like slow mode, like bullet time in general in games is really cool and, and pretty helpful too. Like, um, uh, Allie might remember, but I, uh, I was playing a, what is it? Horizon Zero Dawn, I think. And I think mm. that they did the slow mo pretty well in that game. So, um, it, it looks great in the Matrix as well, of course. So, for this part, we have to just dance around him and wait, uh, because we can't kill him until some of these poles on the left burn completely and fall over. We don't recommend you try this. Just saying <laughs> just saying that warning chat. <laughs> Doesn't look very safe. Alright, so now the poles are burnt, so now I just have to wait for him to attack me. 
counter it, and then I can throw him off. Just do that two times, and then he's gone. And this is one of my favorite things. This, this part kind of breaks the fourth wall a little bit. <laughs> Do we skip it or, or we're about to see it? Yeah, we're about to see it. Uh, cool. We pop we pop down into the, like uh, a movie theater where somebody's watching the movie on screen. I guess they kind of did this in, in Matrix 4 a little bit. It was breaking a lot of the fourth wall. So this is kind of funny to see it in like a 2005, uh, you know, re reiteration of like the classics in, in game form. Right. No, no, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, I get it. I get it. The guy in the black jacket is the savior of mankind. And this fight with the other guy is some kind of test, right? 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 Nah, too far fetched. Now uh, we have to let's fight him one more time. Actually, is cooperative. And now, this next level coming up is probably my least favorite in the entire run because it is the most inconsistent level in this entire game. All right, buckle up. <laughs> uh, this is uh, coming up is the infamous scene in the second movie when Neo fights uh, the army of Smiths. Oh, I do love this scene though. I wonder, do we get to see the Oracle at all? Uh, in the cutscenes, yeah, the ones I've a been skipping, bit. unfortunately. Um, but, yeah. uh, that, that's okay. <laughs> I wish I didn't have to skip all the cutscenes so you guys could see more of them, but yeah. <laughs> then we'd be somehow. real movie yeah, nighting it up over here. <laughs> so the goal of this level is to hit all these smiths into these buildings so they topple and they can't, like, can't spawn anymore. The problem is, uh, we have not uh, figured out a consistent way to like hit them into the buildings because like they just it seems like they just do it whenever they feel like it. But, like there's like I can I've not I had a run I might actually on my PB I knocked down three of these four buildings like very quickly and then the fourth one they just refused to fall into these buildings and knock down the fourth one and I lost like two minutes. Oh my goodness. But that was good. I, I knocked down one building before the, this little cutscene showed up, so that's a good start. Mr. Anderson, you think one mere building can stop all of us? Yeah, okay, basically, just want to keep grappling them on the poles, and I like I, it's like so inconsistent. I don't know if it matters like where you are positioned or what direction you're holding. It's like they just go wherever they feel like. And is it easiest to do all of this like right in the kind of middle-ish area of the courtyard? Yeah, I think the middle works the best because it'll fly to whichever building. But it depends because eventually we get down to a point where there's only like one spot in the building you need to hit. So you might want to get a little closer to it. Oh, yeah. That's two down.
Okay, so see, we knocked down three already, so now the fourth one's gonna give me a problem. Because this fourth building is the only one on all my practice I can it takes forever to knock it down sometimes and they just hit the last spot whenever they feel like. We need the RNG gods. This actually looks so wild, by the way, just seeing all, all of the agents on this game. They're kind of phase shifting in and out of existence and running around. It's, it's cool. Yeah, see, the, the, I, for some reason, this leftmost spot on this one building is like the biggest problem spot for me. It just takes forever for them to hit it. Like, you can see them flinging up towards it but it just doesn't break until it feels like it. Yeah, maybe it's on some kind of like timer. Like they don't want you to get out of the fight too quickly. So they, they keep the last one uh, up in the air. Like, no pun intended, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Like, there's just one spot they have to hit, and they just don't want to do it. Every building's knocked down except for this one. There's that one spot in the building just not broken yet. And now my pole broke, so now I gotta go find another one. I've got this one right here. <laughs> Very convenient. Going for the crutch again, Mr. Anderson. And the fact that this run is, or this level is so deep into the run, and this could just like completely screw you over, it's just very, very frustrating sometimes. The, the the tip on the bottom, the buildings look like they get they get top of dealt enough damage. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> like we know that game. But yeah, don't sweat it, SP. We're all friends here. We're chilling. The Agent Smiths in the background have kind of started this like dance. <laughs> That's <laughs> actually go. pretty good. Nice. Yeah, maybe, maybe, it. maybe it is on a timer. Like maybe it's just like it, it doesn't want you to beat the game the level too quickly. Yeah, that, that's what I was wondering. Um, I guess, I guess you could always time it just from that fourth building and and see only yeah. that section. But good job, you made it through. All right, so now we have an aerial killing blow that can hit multiple enemies. So I start off this by just doing this, and it hits like a bunch of them at once. And then I go over here and grab the sword off the wall. This uh, this section of the game is when the game gets like really bizarre and starts to take some real liberties. Just like with the story, or yeah, like this not, not this level, but the one like coming up after. It's like just a really weird like sequence. I guess it's like in the second movie, like Neo is like in this old place like by himself, and I guess you don't really get to see what he's doing because the movie like focuses more on uh, Trinity and Morpheus on the highway chase scene. Oh so right, like... yeah. That, oh, that I... Morpheus jump was pretty awesome on the highway scene, though. <laughs> I do love that. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably my favorite scene from the second film. Nice. That highway chase scene. Yeah, 
Yeah, so now we're fighting all these guys that are basically like almost like vampire looking people and there's uh now we're gonna meet this uh this girl here is tied down to a bed. Oh my gosh, this took a dark turn. Yes, yeah, this, this this section is really bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna get even weirder once I get to the next level. where this goes. Let us see if the pawn can reach the far side of the board and save his friends. The other pieces in this grand game. But the game itself is my creation. I am the one with the power here. Behind these doors, you will find the path to your friends. Each door brings you a little closer to your lover. But there are hounds lurking in the halls. Vile things, mists, and nightmares. Now run along, boy. <laughs> Make your He's really making you wait here choice. at this door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I get it. Just open the door yeah, already. We get, we get it, my dude. Just, just open it. <laughs> Yeah, so now we're thrust into like a maze like area. Since I know where all the doors are that we're supposed to go through, it's not so bad. But the first time through this section can be very confusing if you don't know what you're doing. Oh, gosh. Or, like, yeah. It's like, in, like everything's like upside down. It's just like really bizarre section. Oh, whoa, you weren't kidding. And you're about to meet uh, one of the most bizarre enemies, this giant ant. Okay, I I really did not expect that. <laughs> I, I it's you know I, I may not be surprised easily, but consider me very surprised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can just imagine them sitting at the board meeting, like, what enemies should we put for this like bizarre, <laughs> freaky sequence? Uh, giant ants. I love thinking about that when when there's something really strange in a game or a movie. You're like, what what were what was going through their minds, you know, at at the table when they're talking about this? It could be like a fly on the wall. Be interesting. Perfect timing. I could use a little help here. I think I know the way out, but I need you to open these gates. Finally. So, so the ants like kidnapped this woman or, or something? Uh, I, I think the ants are more like henchmen. Okay, maybe but it's yeah. just a, a fever dream, and and this is all really happening. But Neo just sees, mm -hmm. yeah, sees them as ants because why not? <laughs> so yeah, here's another section where we have to wait. There's a lot of this in this game that <laughs> so we have to wait for her to open the door and just stare down all these ants. <laughs> you see, ants, I'm bigger than you. They're just so bizarre looking. Oh, the ants honestly look like they're calm. Like they're just trying to get a <laughs> peek at the one. Oh damn, they actually jumped up here. Oh, never mind, they're back down there. I like moved two centimeters and they decided to jump up here with me. I've tried to like go behind this section and see if there's a way to get behind this door or like glitch through it, but no, no such luck. 
Yeah, I imagine when you're when you're playing a game and you're glitch hunting, you're you're running into walls a lot, trying trying to make something work. But you know, that's how that's how the strats get found. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Okay, here we just jump to this door here. Yeah, if you don't know what door to go through, you could be like wandering around a lot because there's like a lot of false doors that just send you to the wrong spot. Do they just, oh, they send you somewhere completely different or like back to the start? Yeah, they just send you like back to the start. Right. And this one here is interesting. Uh, this door acts like it's a fake door when you open it. But it's actually the right way because then this is the right door. The psych door. All right, so we're done with the giant ant section. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad I got to see that at least once in my life. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now I just have to fight more of these vampire-like creatures. Just when you thought spooky season was over. Oh, no. all these creepy noises they keep making. And you want to try to pick up all these guns because you're going to need the... You want to have as much ammo as possible for the final boss of this section. Actually, hearing some pretty scary sounds in the background, like a like a beast. Yeah, <laughs> there's like something growling in the background. I'm scared. Yeah, this section's almost like a horror game too. <laughs> yeah. So this part's kind of weird like there's each of these poles has an enemy in it and uh but you only have to spawn uh two of them to open the door on the other side there i didn't realize this the first time i speed ran this game and i just spawned all of them and had like a long ass fight sequence in here and then i realized oh later i'm like wait a minute you don't have to you only have to fight two of them and then this door opens they're literally just in there are these like tombs of some kind <laughs> <laughs> you've awoken the vampire from the slumber <laughs> Imagine crashing through a wall thinking you're all cool and then you just get shot in the face immediately. <laughs> it's 
touch if you touch any of the walls or any of these beds that are like electrified you just get shocked and like throws you across the room we definitely don't want that yeah I just want to pick up as many of these guns as I can because uh, if you don't have enough ammo to kill the final boss or the boss of this area with, then uh, fighting him with physical combat sucks because he can like teleport all over the place. This part's the best. Uh, you don't have to fight these guys for this little section here because you can just run up here. Game gives you a checkpoint, retry, and it despawns all the enemies. And the door opens. Oh, that's clutch. Thanks, game. <laughs> yeah, then you just want to target this guy and just wail on him with whatever guns you have left. Yeah, if you have to fight him with physical combat, you can like teleport all over and so I actually there's a clip on my channel of where I fought this guy and like I was fighting him with physical combat and he like teleported and he teleported me in the wall and I fell through the floor and died. Oh my gosh. Story of my life. <laughs> And like, I posted that clip uh, to our Discord, and like, we thought that I discovered some tech to like clip to the wall, and it was like, oh my no, God. It, was just, it was just him teleporting <laughs> me to the wall. Like, no friends, just, just an accident. <laughs> but like, sometimes you never know. Now, this boss coming up is one of the more annoying ones in the game because there's a way to quick kill her and do like a one cycle. I actually came up with a more consistent way to do it recently. But um, she can teleport all around the room. So if you don't get the one cycle like immediately, yeah, then this fight can take way longer than. Oh, this is this is the woman that was chained. I thought we had to help her, but I guess not. Yeah, uh, technically you are trying to save her, but if you uh, if you well, I'm. I was supposed to use the killing blow on her. Okay, well, we got the one cycle. That's the first time I've ever gotten that in a run. There are a lot of firsts tonight. You're doing awesome. Yeah. I'm going to. So, uh, yeah, that killing blow that I did to both of them, I was expecting it to hit the Red Witch first. And technically, we are trying to save her, but if you kill her, uh, it's faster because uh, she's going to have like a little dialogue sequence here. It's going to take a little few seconds. All right. The Merovingian was wrong. You are much better. But yeah, that was an example of that splash damage with the spinning. Uh, because I got her in that little alcove at the doorway, and I like grabbed her, hit her in the ceiling, and then uh, spun her against the wall. I like did splash damage to like completely just destroy her health bar. Because there's supposed to be a second phase where she gets a pole and like fights you again. But because I just killed her instantly, I just skipped that whole second phase of the fight. Yeah, very nice. I believe we have something that you want. Neo, above you. Yeah, can I grab him, please? <laughs> more piss you too slow. I see two of me got a little over <laughs> You like hit Morpheus with the guy. <laughs> not not phased at all. Stay away! Neo, you take the right branch. I'll take the left branch. That's suicide. Neo, what happens to me does not matter. All that matters at this point is saving the keymaker.
Alright, so there's this room with all these smiths here, but we can just run past all of them. The checkpoints is here, and I retry here so I can get my focus meter back up to full, because I'm going to need it for to do an aerial killing blow in the next room. This way, Mr. Anderson. Over here, Mr. Anderson. Let me go. Yeah, now we do an aerial killing blow to get as many of these guys down. Start. This is probably one of my favorite fight sequences in the game, just because I don't know why it's just satisfying. I love comboing the smiths together. Yeah, I was gonna say, I actually think the movement and, and the combat in this game is really cool and really fun to like watch. So I, I imagine it is really, really fun to play too. <laughs> yeah, the parts when you just get to fight like enemies like constantly is really fun. Like there's a lot of moves I'm not like doing because it's like they're slow, but if you play this game casually, there's so many different like moves and stuff that you can do. Nice, yeah. I might have to give this one a, a try. Yeah, I would definitely, even if not for speedrunning, I would definitely recommend a casual play through this game. Oh, that's my favorite move right here. Look at this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just beating them up with each other. Please pay your tokens for the carnival ride, agents. <laughs> And uh, this little part right here, uh, I have another clip on my channel of uh, getting clipped through the getting clipped through the floor is kind of like a meme on my channel because it happens to me all the time in games. <laughs> but these uh, these TVs uh, one time clipped me through the floor, and I was stuck. <laughs> oh, like it knocked the TV like knocked into you, and then you clipped through the yeah, floor. Yeah, I just oh. was in the floor, and, it, and this was on like a world record pace run, and I was like, what the hell? <laughs> oh my gosh. But you don't have to worry about world record anymore, right? Because you have the world record. I mean, it can always be improved. There's definitely... Like, I obviously have no idea what kind of pace I'm on right now, but I could easily still PB very much in this game. Yeah. Well, and I am not sure how big the board is, but, you know, if anyone wants to uh, contend, it, it, it looks like a fun run. Yeah, competition is always welcome. It's a dead end. Theo, get them off of me. So we want to get to the second floor as soon as we can here. So, okay, well, the smith hit me and kind of screwed up my jump there, but I'd like to jump to the statue and then jump to the second floor from here. That's where like all the smiths are. Yeah, 
hear the key maker is gonna pop up random doors and uh, I just gotta get to him quick. This is basically almost like a time sequence. But I just get to him here and then he's gonna disappear. And then I just have to wait till he pop he's gonna pop up on the second floor and then I have to go there and do the same thing again. He's gonna do this like four different times until he finally lets us do the like, it says like, oh, get to the keymaker before the agents get to him, but it doesn't matter how fast you get to him, he always goes away. Aw, oh, bummer. I think if you get to him fast, he just drops you items, but that's it. <laughs> but I just have to wait until I hear him yell for me upstairs. Like that. Is he trapped in a room upstairs? Uh, he's trying to find, like, the right door so we can get the out right of here. The right door. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I couldn't remember if they, like captured him or it's been a little while since I've seen the second one. <laughs> All right, so now that he came up from the okay, if, if I can stop getting hit by the smith. <laughs> okay, now that he came up from the upstairs door now and I, I know the last two doors he's going to come through are these ones right here. So I know he's going to come through this door next, so I'm just going to sit here and uh, have a little dance with the, the smiths here while I wait for him to come through the door. Just dodge against the wall and they can't touch me. I might have to listen to the Smiths after this. <laughs> Here, we don't have much time. Oh my Where's God! Look at you go. So now he's gonna come through this door, and then we'll finally get to get out of here. It's been a while since I watched the second movie. I can't even remember if any of these fight sequences are even in the second movie. Yeah, that's. I was trying to remember because, like, um, right before the fourth came out, we started watching all of the trilogy, um, and I feel like that was a while ago now. Like, I don't even remember when that movie came out. Hurry up with that door! I can't remember when the fourth movie was coming out. If I watched, I don't think I watched them all again. I think I just watched the first one. Oh, right. So it's been a while for you too, probably longer than, yeah. than I ha have. <laughs> the third one is probably the only movie in the series I don't really like at all. Except for like, the, the only thing I liked about it is the final battle with Smith. Other than that, the rest is kind of not too good. It's funny because someone in chat was asking, uh, is the last 20 minutes of the run going to be the third movie? And I guess yeah, there's not a lot of it in, in this run, huh? Yeah, the third movie is basically just the final battle against Smith, and that's it in this game. There's not much else. Yeah. <laughs> so, there you go. Now they give us a grenade launcher to dispatch the smiths while he tries to open the door one last time. I do think it is kind of funny that we don't spend like hardly any time uh, on like the ship. You know what I mean? Throughout this run, like they didn't, they just didn't. <laughs> they just yeah, didn't. right. And that's like so much of uh, I feel like the second movie and the third. Now 
That went really well. Nice. Usually I have to dispatch that last, like, uh, Smith clone with, uh, my fists before, uh, cause usually I run out of the grenades before I kill them all. Alright, so this cutscene is the only one in the game that's not skippable. For some reason they make you watch this whole sequence here. Neo is blind. I wish you could see yourself, Mr. Anderson. Helpless. Pathetic. Stop me. I mean, mandatory, but still kind of a cool watch. Right. <laughs> the power of the... So now we have the final battle against Mr. Smith. Yeah, for some reason, um, with this game, if you just start from a fresh file, there's a lot of the cutscenes in the game you can't uh, skip. Oh, I see. That's interesting. So you always play it on the already created. Like, yeah, play. There, there's actually a separate category on the leaderboard for that. Uh, but there's only like one run on there because nobody wants to run that. <laughs> nobody wants to sit through the cutscenes. That and uh, you'd have to do all those missions that we skip because it wouldn't uh, count as completed. Right. All right, so we fought Smith on the ground. Now we're gonna fight him in the air. All right, so let's do this. I just keep mashing the. I just keep mashing the the hit button and move towards him, and it pretty much just works. There is some like more technical stuff you can do where you charge towards him to do a little more damage, but this is just simplistic. And like, there's a way to like, there's a sequence like our way through this where I'm going to hit him through a building and we're going to have like a fight on the ground again. And I've had like, when during practice it's like, you can skip that sequence, but I don't know how to do it. Well, one day, I believe in you. Like, I don't know if there, I haven't looked into it too much. There's like, my, there must be some things special you have to do that you just go straight to the next phase instead of that little mini part. Oh, he actually hit me into the building. That's unusual. Usually I smash him through the wall.
So yeah, uh, we just want to do the same thing we did with that boss fight with the witch. Just lead him over to the corner here. That isn't going to work this time, Mr. Anderson. And if he lets me grab him, then we can just do this. I love how he's like, that isn't going to work, Neo. <laughs> it's like, yes, <laughs> it is. Watch us. <laughs> So yeah, when you get that splash damage, you throw them against the wall. Just another insta kill. Then we're fighting in the air again. Yeah, then once you deal enough damage, you knock him down, and then you fight him on the ground one last time. He is relentless. Then we get one last code flex, and we learn the ultimate move, the Mega Punch. There you go. It's basically an upgraded version of the Killing Blow. And you get to see the slow-mo punch. Oh! <laughs> Man, damn, I missed him. Now, oh, now he's being a little bit of a troll. Same thing again. He moved out of the way right before I hit it. Oh, he is being a troll. Come on, Smith. Give it up. Yeah, he, he really doesn't want to. He's done. Nice. There you go. So, so now there's actually, uh, I just skipped it, unfortunately, but there's like a, it's a funny little sequence where like a uh, little like 8-bit versions of the Wachowskis, uh, the directors of the movie, show up and explain like this final, final battle because they explain that the, uh, you know, the ending of the movie didn't really make for a good like epic final boss fight. So they're like, why don't we just have all the Smiths mold into one giant mega smith? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so so what are the strategies here for this one? Uh, basically, we just want to dodge his attacks until he raises his arm like that, and then we can charge into him, and we just have to do that over and over until he is completely destroyed. Okay, and, and this one doesn't have a health bar, I assume? No, it's just like the amount of time. I don't rem remember the exact number of times. I just know when he has two holes in his chest, that's when <laughs> it's like the last hit after that. Okay. He seems to raise his arms like whenever he destroys a building when I hide behind it like that. And 
and uh, time will be after the last hit. I'll let you know when that's going to be. Jesus. I think you wasn't having a good time. <laughs> They're still screaming. <laughs> it didn't even sound like like Smith's voice. It just sounded like a generic enemy. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Knock those glasses off, he's serious now. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize he was wearing shades, that's so funny. Yeah, he pulls the shades, <laughs> when when they're forming together, he pulls the shades off like a giant billboard. Oh my gosh. Alright, so the next hit uh, will be it. Once I fly into him and it fades, then that's time. GG. Well, that was quite a ride. Oh my goodness. I, 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 someone had asked in chat, do you think that the Wachowskis had that big battle in mind for, for the end, like for the movies, or do you think it was a game only choice that they decided? Maybe that was like something that they left on the drawing board <laughs> and they're like, let's just throw it into the movie. With before we um, wrap it up tonight? Um,. Uh, I'd like to give a shout. I'll, I'll give a shout out to uh, Sarkovsky. He's uh, the other, the, one of the only other runners that runs on console. He's the one who basically taught me like all this stuff when I first started learning it. Oh, that's awesome! Well, thank you so very much, uh, second place for for running this game for us tonight. Uh, I had a great time, and I'll say to all of you watching, if you did enjoy the run, make sure you follow Second Place uh, ninety two here on Twitch. I'm sure. Uh, I'd love to see you there. <laughs> but um, yeah, we are going to set up for the next game. But before we do, I want to give a uh, big shout out to all of our GDQ supporters, your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, and bits cheered here on the GDQ Twitch channel. Do help support uh, Games Done Quick, both with Hotfix, including this show, uh, and with AGDQ 2023 costs. So uh, please consider subscribing if you do enjoy the daily GDQ uh, content. Uh, again, second place, thank you so, so much for being here it was a pleasure to have you on and um we will be right back with peter jackson's king kong so don't go away all right everybody welcome back to time capsule right here on the game zone quick hotfix uh i'm your host smooth operative and we are all set up for our next uh movie game which is king kong so please welcome prophet black oh hey how you going my name is prophet black if i had friends they'd probably call me prophet um i'm joined by a world <laughs> record holder and the king of kong himself monk, -a -monk. Oh. take you away monk 
Oh, uh, thank you for pointing that out. But <laughs> yeah, we just got a casual speed run of Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official licensed game of the movie. <laughs> oh, so, it even says that. <laughs> yeah, well, Maybe, that's what I, it's. Yeah, that's literally the like full that, name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the full title. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> a, normally I tell people that so yeah they think I'm cool but not really. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh sweet yeah I'm pretty much yeah you're ready to start uh yeah whenever sure. you guys are all right cool absolutely uh, see sweet you, uh in three two one good luck cool thank you all right sweet so there's about two and a half to three minutes of I guess auto scroller here um Straight up, we're doing the hardest skip of the game, known as uh, Venture Skip. Um, the reason it's the hardest skip is because sometimes you need to validate your, uh, your your inverted axis, and as you can see here, uh, Venture doesn't want to notice me. So uh, <laughs> I knew this would happen too. Sometimes the only way there you go, got it, cool. There it is. <laughs> I think in any other given Dude. scenario, it'd reset, but uh, I'm not going to. Yeah, honestly, I just wiggle my mouse for like 30 yeah, seconds. Yeah, you literally it spam up. it. It's not even a joke. <laughs> cool. But yeah, so a uh, quick yeah. thing about this game. It released in 2005 on every console known to man. It probably got released on calculators as well if they could you know, have the software. Um, and it was later released on the uh, Xbox 360 as a launch title in 2007. So quick run down the game. And obviously it's based on uh, Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie, which also came out in 2005. And also everyone reprises their roles, so at least all the characters for their voice roles. So, yeah. Yeah, that's the best that's part, honestly. Awesome. That you have the... And also, with the if you watch the things, the, the things in the extras... Peter Jackson, the director of the movie, was heavily involved. He gave like screen rides, screenplays, all kinds of like sets and stuff that you can see that he provided to the game. So he was heavily involved. And this was also made by Ubisoft. So the same people do Assassin's Creeds and that's or the Far Cries. If uh, people don't know who Ubi or, yeah. or Ubisoft, as I uh, hear people call it, yeah. So. It's crazy how they, they I can't believe they made this game honestly but I think personally this is the the best well, It came out in the time where they like game. made like video game movies for everything so I'm pretty sure there's like a Bratz right. Dolls movie too you know so and you can always argue that yeah. you, you can't believe they made <laughs> one of those so. Dude they had like movie games for like iCarly yeah. so I mean <laughs> Does anyone speed run that? We should get that next week but. Uh, I, Yeah I'm, I'm sure they do That'd be funny. I'd be down for that. But um, I would say is the everyone pretty much reprises their roles. I, but a lot of the, like the it, this follows like basically the plot of the movie to like nothing. I will say so. Like if you've seen the movie, this game is basically nothing like except the same characters. Yeah, I don't know if uh, anyone would personally like being woken up like this, but I for a fact would not. Uh, personal space. Yeah, I love this two thousand five. Personal models. space in. We crashed against the rocks. One of the so uh, I used to run this game on the Xbox or Xbox Series X, but I would play the Xbox 360 version. Uh, the first, what did you say, like 15 minutes of the game is probably faster on Xbox, oh, and anything after that, uh, PC and stuff, is a superior version. So it was actually recently yeah, we just... that discovered that the PC version is, if you've got good, a good PC, it's actually faster for load times, which helps out heaps. But other than that, Xbox... Uh, on a newer console, like a newer hardware, meaning the Series X is actually superior in some aspects. So, yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Monk. Yeah, but... <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. You're explaining it well because the we yo we just found out uh, somebody ran it, but there's two versions of the PC. There's one port of the 360 edition, and one and this is the port we're playing here is the um the port of the PS2, GameCube all those era consoles okay. and there's no load times so you just press escape and it just skips the loads die. no you're good uh one thing you might notice and you think might think it's a bit odd i am walking diagonal um for some weird reason there's probably a bit of an oversight that uh double walking diagonal gives you a double input so it literally means you walk at double the speed uh instead of obviously just holding left right um forward or back so if i hold obviously you uh, right and forward or left and forward, I'll walk faster than I would normally, uh, which saves. Uh, we I don't think we've really timed it, but it does save a bit of time. So it just gets you to A to B a lot quicker. Oh yeah, 
is about i would say maybe uh for levels to where you like it's just straight movement probably like 10 15 seconds for other levels probably five cool. so this is like a first mini boss of the game um i used to think Munker used to cheat on this level uh because <laughs> i used to send back and shoot uh the crab so you'll see a big one in a second but what actually happens is if you get into the crab's face and give it zero to no personal space um it actually dies a lot faster um but the annoying part is and sometimes it happens more on the pc version i've noticed the crab will walk back into the water which will replenish its health so uh, i think this time isn't really like you gotta wait for these guys to open the door regardless but uh, they do it a lot faster the crabs uh been unalived so so we'll see him now big boy but he's definitely not the biggest uh biggest animal we've seen this uh speed run Yep, and you think with the boss like this, it would reoccur for the rest of the That's game. It. Nope, you will never see it again. <laughs> the, the crabs go away pretty early on the game, about 35 minutes into the run. Uh, what is happening? I'm yeah. Afraid. Oh, great Kong AI yeah, there. Yeah, I've n never seen that before. Cool, thank you, Jack Black. It's open! Let's get out. Oh, he definitely gives the best. It's always voice annoying because there's the your main character is called Jack, but I always refer to Jack Black as Jack Black, even though his character name is Carl. Um, but I couldn't imagine shooting a movie where the other character is your real name. It just seems weird to me. But anyway, that's what acting you know they get paid the big bucks for that. So that's okay. yeah, so here he's gonna um, come kill all the crabs here, and then he's gonna put it in, and then he's gonna go to the other pillar because if you go to the other pillar, it'll cause Carl to come open it and he'll come sprinting. But if you do the other pillar, it'll Hayes will come do it and he'll just come with a walk. So it saves a bit of time. I didn't know that. I just been following what you've been doing. <laughs> yeah. No, no, yeah. If you do the other pillar, you just, uh, Hayes comes and do it and he just walks to it. But if you do that, when Carl comes sprinting. Yeah, and someone, um, sometimes uh, the characters do stuff based on dialogue. Uh, sometimes they will just stand there and stare at you and then start... Uh, will start spitting out what they need to, but then it, you know, halts the game sometimes, so, which is really annoying. Normally on a, yeah, on, a, on a good day, at least on the Xbox version, I noticed you can get uh, Jack Black down here in like within like six minutes of the run, uh, but most times on PC, it's anywhere between like 63 to seven minutes, which obviously isn't ideal, so. These doors, they don't seem very old. They work just fine. What do you mean? But this game uh, differs sure. quite significantly from the actual movie as well. So. Oh yeah, I, honestly, I, it barely follows its yeah, plot. They <laughs> they kill characters off that don't die in the actual film. Um, Preston, I know Preston. Preston I think dies. there's one other. Uh, I think his name is like uh, Baxter. Yeah, maybe. And then I think uh, the, the movie guy. <clears throat> there's coming up. Spoiler alert, right? There's a level in the log, which is probably the best level, arguably, um, where Hayes dies in the film, but in the game, he doesn't die until probably within the last like hour and a half to two hours of the game, depending on how good you are at the game. Um, someone like Monk could probably get there. Hour like, and a half. Some, someone like Monk could probably get there within 15 minutes, but uh, someone like me. <laughs> yeah. <different. laughs> Cool. So this is one of the levels I was talking about where oh, you got to wait for the part. dialogue for stuff to happen. Um, in a second, or maybe like a minute or two, this wall here will bust open. Uh, but I have to wait for everyone to talk about um, their feelings and that sort of stuff. So. Damn it. Yeah, uh, this is a very perfect place to shoot. This is why you film on location. Yeah. <laughs> and obviously, uh, Jack Black's character stops and does his stuff all the time, which chews up time. Obviously, he Yeah, he doesn't even help you kill the enemies half the time. He just films He's here them. for a purpose. Yeah. Ooh, you got good spawns. Oh, I've got, I've got that monk rain. I gotta reload. Where's the other one? So monk is like really cracked at this section. I've watched him play it multiple times. Oh. This is one of my favorite sections. I just love headshotting these centipedes. Oh yeah, dude, it is awesome that if you give Anne the fire spear there, because she, she will actually like Chris Kyle the centipede. <laughs> I always give her as I always give her the fire one, obviously because it does more damage. So, oh yeah, that's probably one thing we should mention. So we have throwables in this game, meaning spears. So we have uh, spears, fire spears, and then like bone shards, which you can use as spears. Um, 
Obviously, from a damage point of view, I think a normal spear does like maybe like one or 1 1.5. A fire one does like two. Uh, then a regular bone one does like, I would say 0 0.5 or one. So. It's like, uh, I think it's four of uh, like the spear you have right now without fire, two with yeah. fire. And then, and then the bone ones kind of just feels like it's yeah, random for the bone ones. So something we missed, that was an intentional death. So we have a lot of death skips in this game purely. Uh, okay. Otherwise we have to watch uh, and I kill myself unintentionally then. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. So we have a lot of uh, intentional get... death skips. That was not one of them. Um, That's okay. I got enough so I'm... I guess I'll I'll out myself, right? I don't normally play mouse and keyboard, so hello, you're gonna pick up, thank you. Wait for me, Jack. So if you think my movement looks a bit weird and uh, I, know what I'm doing. I guess unorthodox, it's Jack. probably because it is. So and there's a lot of I get so a lot of babysitting sections on this too. <laughs> this is one of them. I get so nervous when I cross those beams, dude. <laughs> yeah, I just like on Xbox or with control it's way easier, but you know, if you want to be the best you gotta play on the best. So Hang on And also the spawn rates for the centipedes on this section vary as well. Sometimes you could have like ten, other times you could have one. So what the hell? Yeah, also it's uh we were talking about this earlier. How many times you like say die is based on how many enemies will spawn. It's like uh it kind of adjusts to how well you're doing. So, uh, so I, if you die a bunch, less enemies will yeah, spawn. Yeah, so a game like uh, Spyro was really uh, good for that back in the day. So the yeah, the game scales based on your ability to play the game. Over there. Is this taking longer than usual? Feels like it. This I, I feel like this level varies with the fire burning. Yeah. Cool. There we go. At least she's right next to me. <laughs> He's actually sprinting for once. So this will be the first fire skip of the game coming up. Um, so taking fire into levels will uh, speeds up certain parts. So I'll, obviously I'll explain it. So Anne's the only one person who can climb anything in this game, right? Um, she, I don't know what she did. Been hanging out with Bear grills or something. I don't know. Just avoid these bats for a little bit. And they also gave her medical knowledge for some reason. Oh, you know what I mean? Dude, that happens. Yeah, that's the worst. Yeah, it, it, if you hit the spiders, yeah. it'll it can break the spear sometimes. It's working. Now's our chance. Hurry. Okay, come on. Okay, you got it that time. <laughs> Wait, so that was unintentional. The the death. Uh, I talk about intentional deaths. That was not one of them. Ah, uh, yeah. So taking fire into this level is so much faster. Uh, Purely because we can do this, otherwise you'd have to wait for Anne to climb up there. She talks for about a minute, minute and a half. Uh, and then she has to guide you through this water section in a second where there's uh, crocodiles. I actually don't know what the technical name for them are, but... We don't see a lot of crocodiles. There's a level called Swamps where it's full of them. Uh, worst level in the game, hands down. There's no argument. Uh, I would die on that hill. <laughs> <laughs> It's not even like, it doesn't even make it better doubt. when you make Shrek memes or talk about Shrek. It's just like, it's horrendous, eh? Dude, it's so bad. <laughs> like, I don't know how many times I've soft locked on that level. I mean, I'm going to call soft. I don't think I've ever soft locked. It's just like, Jimmy will like. It's just a bad looking Jim, level, Jimmy too. Jimmy lags. Also, Anne's going to randomly appear. Oh, she didn't. Oh, man, that's. Yeah, you have to go do the scorpion death skip. Then. Let's see what happens. Nice. nice work. You got good aim. I don't mind showing how broken this game is, to be honest. I ain't here for word records, be nice. How am I not here? She might appear, sometimes she just appears randomly. I gotta reload. Is she here or is she... Did you get that? Whoa! Uh. Mm. Am I launching? Uh. So I'm gonna have to try. 
What a cursed run. <gasps> yeah. So I think it kind of babies you at the very beginning with fire. It's you, you know, you're not meant to walk into it repeatedly like that. Um, there you go. Cool. So Anne's here. So she was... Yeah. If she appears, it's normally a good sign. If she doesn't appear, not a good sign. But at least that was clean, so it makes up for it. And I missed. Usually when you're... Uh... If it, she doesn't appear with when you come up out of the water, you just go and dive from the first scorpion. But I and she'll and you get the spawn because I, I had to do that on GameCube because you it was literally impossible for her to yes to spawn from the water on GameCube. So on console, it's, it's okay. it refuses to like, uh, acknowledge that skip pretty much. So and apparently there's a skip here we can do, but we need to figure it out. So someone. Uh, I think commented one of Monk Monks. I think it was your last world record, right? Something like that. Um, what? About the skip here. Oh yeah. Uh, apparently, I, I need to test yes, it. Apparently, you can, like, the guy commented saying that you could park walk up, around yeah, park or up the wall. Have you seen Jimmy and the others? Oh damn it. You would have thought I haven't played this game ever, but <laughs> just one of those days. What what do you call it? Like it worked. Let's get out marathon here. luck sort of thing. Just one of those calling days, man. <laughs> Mar marathon yeah, luck. That's it. I'm curious, Prophet. What got you interested in running this game? Um. So when I was a kid, uh, my parents didn't think it was necessary that I got a new video game every time they were released. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, I pretty much just, I think I got this from a, a birthday present or something from a family member, and it was the only FPS game I had, and I loved the genre from playing, you know, Halo and that sort of stuff. Um, but pretty much from it being out from 2005, it's the only game I owned on a PS2 for the longest time. And that's it, the guy spawns. Um, yeah, and then I was pretty much getting really into speedrunning, obviously seeing uh, heaps of GDQ stuff. Uh, and then I was like, what can I speedrun? And then I... Uh, Pretty much found we had a community for King Kong, and that was that's pr pretty much history at that point. So nice. So you were a part of the community like pretty early on, like from the beginning. Would no, you say? No, I'm kind of like theoretically pretty new. So oh, okay. I, yeah, so okay. I think I, Monka. What about? Yeah, so I think I started in yeah, go 20, ahead. 2021, like early twenty one. So oh, okay, yeah. wow, yeah. That's, so you are yeah. new. Um, I wondered, Monka, were were you an early member? Uh, I would say the game got its first run about four years ago, and I okay. started running the game two years ago. So, and at the time, it was it wasn't really optimized. It, the, the highest time was a two sixteen. It's now a one fifty one. So, and it still can go lower, like a lot lower. So, it's still getting pretty well. But I'm I, I'm pretty veteran, but I'm not very new. I'm pretty new. I'm yeah. so. <laughs> It's a pretty small community, though, so there's room for more. Yeah, yeah, always. I, think it, I don't know if it's something you want to address, Monka, but there was a bit of drama in the community, so hence why I think it kind of scared a lot of people away from the game. Um, I, I wouldn't doubt yeah, it. Yeah, so I think that's probably what happened. But uh, new moderators, me and Monka are one of them. Um, we're very friendly, very welcoming. Uh, if anyone wants to learn this game, please uh, hit me up, and I'll, I will walk you through it if I have to. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> hey, hold the, your hand. Yeah, through all the 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 horrible things this game could put you through, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> you love to hate it. Yeah, my, I think my first ever run was like three hours and five minutes, and then my current PB is like two hours flat, pretty much. Oh so yeah, a lot of room. Yeah, nice progress. Yeah. And we have obviously different categories as well. We have a hundred percent category, which is uh, save Kong. <laughs> Uh, we have like a any percent no skips, so where you don't do any fire skips or death skips, and then we have a spears only percent as well. So, which only one person's been brave enough to attempt, and it took him about four or five hours. So, it's a long, it's a long one. So this is where we. F I don't know how people do it as well. First seam. Oh yeah. I want to give it a go to be honest. Oh hello. But, so normally we don't look. Oh man, yeah, I normally will. don't look at him, but uh, I, I will show everyone our boy Harambe. 
Watch him come out. <laughs> I mean, I love how Adrian Brody delivers his lines like he's half asleep. They probably just pulled him from other movies he was in. Like... <laughs> yeah, he definitely had to build an extension on his house to finish this yeah, game. <laughs> he's ain't coming down, getting sacrificed. Yeah, you got Carl casually watching from the left side yeah, of your I screen. Can, uh, you can barely yeah, see him. You yeah. can see the back of his uh, <laughs> tripod, his camera, bipod, we want to call it. So sometimes, uh, I think it depends. I know he does on Xbox. Kong doesn't, like, he walks, but he kind of just, like, floats walking up to Ann. Kind of funny. But it doesn't always happen. I don't know if he does on this version. On Xbox, it was really bad. Same with his shadows. Kong's shadows were always broken. Let's see. Anticipating. I think you can like. No, you can't talk to her. You just be able. To, I think you can zoom up on her normally. Two magazines on I backup. I oh, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wish. <laughs> there he is in all his HD glory. <laughs> Dude, I. I just. <laughs> There's uh, scenes later. Where, so every I think. Um, every Kong level ends in like a cutscene and just like zoom up on his face. Uh, it looks woeful. But I was saying to uh, Monk earlier with this game, I think it's probably one of the best looking games from, or at least video game movies from 2005. So, my opinion. Yeah, like we were saying, the, the like with the progressing environments and stuff and how the day turns from night to morning to Carl, thank God. like noon. He got away from him. Wait, so now... What? Yeah, I know. Jack White's gonna let us see it. I know, I saw it. Carl, it took Anne. Come on. What? So what you kind of learn from, uh, I guess, the, the plot of the game is... It's gigantic. Uh, Carl's not a very old Jack Black's character. Isn't a very nice person. All he, he's very greedy. All he cares about is getting the film made, making a, you know, a million dollars because it's based in like what 1912 or something like that so that's a that's a lot of money for them yeah i think it's uh, meant to be based during the um like the, the great depression great depression yeah. yeah so it'd be like the 30s yeah because in the movie it was like 1936 yeah. or something like that that's right oh my god 1950 the original was probably from like 1950s <laughs> hurry up so oh man this section dude good luck it's not this one I worry about. Oh uh, man, dude, I the, the the path thing on the dinosaur on this section. Yeah, so in this part I was like, where did my spear go? Hello? Yeah, we're gonna meet the dinosaur for the first the time. First uh, Velociraptor, which is called a Ventosaurus. Uh, you'll come from over there. We gotta get through that door. There's no other way. I love how your screen's still shaking. Yeah, it is too. <laughs> Oh, you got good pathing. Nice. <laughs> I never get it. He like runs to the left yeah, side. Yeah, sometimes. Right, come on. Nice. There's another one, Jack. Sometimes they do take a while to run down. Dang, dude, this oh, is that was clean. This is really good, dude. Oh my go, god, go split, nice. Baby. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. World record? Uh, no way. <laughs> you saw the you saw the start <laughs> of this game. <laughs> Was not very good. Oh crap! Oh, uh, dude. Did I get that? Oh, you got it. You got it. Yeah, you got it. Oh, I've never seen God. those guys run like that before. They were humdinging. You, I'm glad that you did it from that the backside, like pulling it. Because if you would have done it from the other angle, I don't think you. I know. Got it. Yeah, I pretty much. I will pull from the backside normally because of the the slight protection you get. It's just like a safety strut, I guess. So, but and a lot of time you pull stuff backwards purely based on. Um, I think the characters sometimes will walk faster if you're like staring at them. If you're kind of got your back to them, they think you don't care. Um, we're All gonna right. try crutch, catch up to King Kong here, or Kong as he's known. Harambe. Harambe. Yeah, Harambe Simulator, two thousand five. <laughs> I can take fire into this next level. So sometimes I do hear Munker as well. I don't know if you've ever seen my runs. I don't know how, how much of a fan you are, but uh. 
<laughs> yeah, I watched them vividly. Sometimes you, if you throw a spear there, you don't have to break the door down. The uh, so here at the beginning of the level, you're if you play it normally, you're supposed to watch uh, Carl get taken by the big bat. But here, you're just gonna run through, skip everything, and skip him being called. But you're gonna have to do another intentional checkpoint death here to respawn Carl and then beat the boss. Yeah. And sometimes the boss can be uh, a bit hard purely Annoying. because sometimes these bats will, like, they attack you beforehand. Hang in there, Carl. These two will, but the, on the top, you got to kill the first uh, four, I believe. Yeah. Before the, the mama. Yeah, before a mama bat comes and tries to kill you. So, uh, another death skip there. All intention. And if you're good you can kill the mom bat in like four shots yeah if you're unlucky then it's five sometimes you have to wait for them to get the swoop uh jack black yeah you usually want to because if, if you can get a clean shot with a shotgun it's usually a one shot oh no on the xbox version too the game's renowned for uh the characters being getting killed by what i call ghosts where they would just scream yeah. uh, and then just die randomly for no reason. Even though there's, they're not injured, there's no one attacking them. Uh, happens quite a bit. So what? Oh, he's gonna come yeah, what would normally happen here, uh, if as well? He actually might die faster because I have died so many times leading up to this part. Uh, so obviously, like I said before, scaling based on my ability to play the game. If it comes back to this point, it's going to then ah, uh, nope. I think you, yeah, you're gonna have to give it another shot. I think the one of them. I found it. The... Oh, so whoa. for this last round, it always comes here. Yeah. Without fail. And then, nice. Kill that one. And kill that last bat. And then I usually like wait a second here because of um. Don't ever want to get that stupid glitch where Carl just dies. Yeah, the ghost death thing. So I'm going to try, I think by and killing as much of the enemies as I can, I hopefully he'll avoid it. Looking good so far, though, man. It's a good run. I mean, don't lie to me. <laughs> the camera's, like, freaking out. Yeah, it always freaks out when you, like, jump yeah. down stuff. Uh, also, something. a tiny little skip um, is... I brought fire through this part and burn it on my way through. Um, it probably saves like well, one or two seconds at most because normally for any sort of tall grass, you kind of have to like almost swim through it, um, which slows down a lot or slows you down a lot. Give me a chance. It's gonna I didn't know film. the second one spawned there. Yeah, I think they're random. Cool. Uh, so it's pretty crucial I take a spear into this next level uh, because we have to bait two dinos into an area. Put that there. Uh, and then set them on fire. Uh, weird thing, I don't know if they added it or took it out. On the PC version, you can't drop any of your items. So on Xbox, I think maybe PlayStation, or you can drop your spears and stuff. Uh, you don't have the ability. We cannot find the, the bind for it or anything. And we've like kind of ripped the files apart, and I don't think it's in there. So, yeah, I don't know why they removed that feature of being able to drop things in PC. Yeah, port. it's bizarre because there's. I feel like it's there somewhere, but they couldn't map it to a key, so they just like kind of left it out of the yeah, settings. Yeah, there's one level uh, coming up, uh, kind of soonish, maybe what within like next twenty minutes or something, uh, where yeah, on a. On the Xbox, you would drop it. In this version, we have to kind of throw the spear in a particular place. I think the more I practice it, the throwing the spear is actually probably it's Easy. faster and easier. Uh, so this is a kind of yeah. cool little skip. You went to bait these spiders here, but if you just go behind them, uh, you pick up the lever. And that was so quick, you didn't even realize what I did. And you wouldn't have known if I didn't say anything, so. <laughs> oh, damn, he's done. that ammo? Cool. So if I didn't bring the spear here, and also the, all the widgety grubs and stuff, they're all random. Like, there's no consistency to their spawn. Dude, dude, that was nice. So this is what I was talking about earlier, Monka, where the... randomly... it spawned from up there. Uh, what? So... So when I was 
practicing this yesterday. Ooh, you got the double headshot. Uh, an extra uh, Ventasaurus spawn when it wasn't meant to. Which I know. I guess it like it doesn't really. You don't really lose any time. But if it catches you off guard and like grabs you, you have to go through the whole like grabbing animation. And if you have to reload your gun, you got to reload your gun while being you know, strung around. So blurry vision. Yeah, it's not very, not very fun. <laughs> Dark. Yeah, so here you just have to kill that one you can just run through. I think... I usually don't like taking hits, though. I normally kill him because a, a few you, times I've had Jack Black get killed by the uh, the centipedes. Well, I've known that you only have to kill the one at the top, and for some reason the other ones won't kill him. I've never had it to where the bottom ones killed yeah. him, but I have like missed the top one. And they would just I die. Do, I do kind of have the Xbox. The Xbox route's probably slightly different, in my opinion. Might program a slightly bit. Oh, I get double. Oh, nice. Damn, that was all nice. Astra too. So instead of watching them go that, through the that's... animation, uh, it's actually a skip that Munker found. Um, it's not really a... Uh, would you call it a skip? Probably, right? It's just a bit of a time save. Yeah, why not? Uh, Makes it sound Yeah, cooler. so it's only a Munker found just to... Get the uh, dinosaurs to die quicker, and you kind of conserve ammo, which you kind of really don't really need at this point either. But uh, if I get here fast enough, this guy will jump down. Bang, bang. Dude, that was a really good haze. Yeah, that was clean. Clean that I did it yesterday. Yeah, that's like. Okay. So, this is what I was talking about earlier. I normally keep my back to the wall, uh, to like the door, because I've had it a few times where they won't run up. Uh, I don't know where is Hayes here. No, he's not. He takes a little bit sometimes. Unless he's oh, my God. oh God, don't yeah. I was about to pray that he wasn't soft locked on that wall. He sometimes gets stuck on. I would have just tried jump by uh, swapping things because I think the characters might have a a lever each that they're like coded to open. I don't know if that's true or not. Yeah. That's how it feels sometimes. Yeah, here's a totally useful section to where. They had to, I assume they just had to put in the oh, game for some reason. But later <laughs> uh, later know. on, they split levels like these up, which then become even more unnecessary. Yeah, like, uh, the, this is, like, uh, practically the cave yeah. level. I think they did, I, I'm not really sure. It kind of feels like they did because I'm assuming they had, like, a level quota that they had to meet. And if they did include, uh, I think, the cave, they probably would be, like, a level short. So they're like, well, it was, Honestly, we'll just tack an end of the a level on to a... Uh, a current level. Like uh, make it a level. So. It really, if you think about it, the longest level in the game is maybe probably to save Anne. It's like six minutes. Like that's and all the levels are pretty yeah. short. Just like there's so many of them. For opti like playing it for, like how we kind of play it. Probably as a kid, it probably took you like thirty minutes to complete one level. But I don't have time for that. So I got stuff to do. Yeah, on average, it's like on average the levels are like three minutes long for us. About three minutes. So this uh, level will meet the T-Rex uh, equivalent, known as a V-Rex. Uh, I don't know if they call it yeah. a V-Rex because maybe T-Rex is copyrighted. I'm not too sure. Um, I don't know how you can right copyright a dinosaur, but... Yeah, they just went two letters down yeah. the alphabet for some reason. I don't know how Jimmy survives this fall. You ever notice yeah. that? How he just like falls into the. So no one likes Jimmy. We're gonna say that now. Um, oh god, dude! We I all hate, hate Jimmy. He, he, <laughs> out of every character, he break, he breaks the most. Uh, god. Not only Is that, that he's the so only reason. Oh, he's, just, he's so yeah, useless. He's <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair. He only does is just he can't just yells Jack. He doesn't do it like. You no, know, he can't fire guns. He can't have no, a gun. Just does. does just doesn't contribute, you know? Like, yeah, he literally just stands there and yells, Jack! But, <laughs> he's not a team no, he's player. Not. <laughs> so I'm going to attempt to turn this uh, V Rex into a porcupine, a hedgehog, or an echidna, depending on where you live. Um, oh, press. Hello? Cool. Uh, so now what I'm going to do here is literally stand here, unlike Hayes yelling at me. I'm just going to pop this dude in the head a few times. He's just going to roar at me. Uh, if he locks onto another character, I have to pretty much load him full of bullets. But in a perfect world, he won't do that. Just waiting. Normally what you're meant to do is run around the level, kill bats. Um, oh, here we go. 
Yeah. So yeah, he, so yeah he'll sometimes. Yeah, he lock locked onto Haze there. So I'm not really sure why they do that. I don't know if because he's got like a stagger animation, so it might have something to do with that. Yeah, as Jack, you can't kill the yeah, V-Rex. Yeah, so the only time you can kill a V-Rex is as Kong. Well, actually, I guess technically you can't kill one as Jack, yeah, but it's not the intentional. Raft. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, the raft. You know what yeah, I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll try to do that as well. Yeah, you just... <laughs> Pretty cool. Cool, so... We kind of just sit here for a little bit. Exciting stuff. Yeah, we... Yeah, we hang out. Carl films Dino. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if it does on this version. I don't really pay attention. But make a quick bet in the chat if Hayes will shoot at the V-Rex or not. Uh, sometimes he was... Yeah, if he goes back yeah, up there. Was, I don't know if he does. On it, Xbox, he does it all the time. He'll climb on the podium and, like, shoot the gun. Uh, unnecessary, right? I've put, like, easily 50 bullets into him already. He's not going down, so... Yeah, have you ever seen him? Like, sometimes he'll have, like, no bullets, but he'll still do yeah. it. He's not going to do it this time. If you said yes, you were wrong. Oh, he didn't do sucks. it. I apologize. I, I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is like weird. It's got like a a death box behind the the V Rex. Um, so if you walk to like walk out too quick, uh, you'll just insta die. So that's, oh man, I, I do it all the time. I cheat death. Yeah, I think the game thinks that he's eating you, even though you know it's kind of like a. Um, and it's like a, a live action cutscene. I don't know what the actual term for it is. God, I wish Jimmy died in the slow. Yeah, he's down there somewhere probably. But yeah, Jimmy's yeah. like probably the worst character. <laughs> and like Carl exists. So, so this is another. It's not even good with the only weapon you can use. <laughs> yeah, you. There's a, a level called Jimmy, and like uh, it's it's killed a lot of good runs because sometimes he refuses to get on a raft and then uh, just. Screams Jack, and then that's it. You get black scream. Yeah, he literally just won't do the only thing he has to do. This way, Jack. Come on. This way, Jack. Bang. Probably should reload. Lumpy. Oh, yeah, Lumpy's the other one that dies. He dies in the film, though. That doesn't that's Andy die. Circus. Does he die in the film? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, Andy Circus, who. Uh, he played Supreme Leader Snoke, if you just like Star Wars. He's in the new Star Wars at the moment, the Andor one. Uh, he did all the motion capture for uh, King Kong. So, probably not in the game, but really? yeah, in the film he did, yeah. Fun fact. Oh, that's a fun fact. Yeah. And he's also, a Dang, he's also the chef that. in the film as well. He's, yeah, so his character's called Lumpy. So, and he's also uh, Gollum from Lord of the Rings, so the same guy. But yeah, probably most notably. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think. There's probably a lot of other stuff he's been in, but... He, oh, good movement yeah, there. He did uh, the mocap for Caesar in uh, Planet of the Apes. Like, so much. Don't take my word for it. Go on IMDB, all right? I've never had Whoa, this before. It's anger. Oh, there she is. I think I just moved too fast. Oh, you didn't hit the trigger. Yeah. Uh, you didn't Gone hit the trigger. Gone too fast, who would have thought? In a speed run? Me? No way. That's sweet. I don't know where that guy came from. Hang on, Ed. Cool. Over here. I'm coming to get you. Yeah, here. So you gotta get all these. Uh, so here you gotta kill everything practically. So Anne will keep going in the level, but she's gonna get captured by a big bat, which will jump into the first Kong section. Yeah. It's kind of weird how the first Kong section is probably about. Uh, I mean, on a good run, it's probably about 35, 40 minutes into the game. Yeah. I think they really knew, I mean, for 2005, I imagine it was pretty hard to do the Kong sections. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a game developer. I, I could tell they prioritized the Jack levels, because Jack, Jack, Jack levels have so many mechanics and stuff, and Kong has like four. Yeah, four that we use, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. There, there is a mechanic where and he, what? like, beats his chest, and it's like a rage mode. Uh, we don't use that at all, because it uh, puts everything into slow motion. Which, you know, kind of the opposite of what yeah, you're trying well, to do. Yeah, what we're trying to achieve. So. <laughs> yeah, you see Mama Bat over here is going to... That's not the Mama one. ...pick up. Is it? Is it not? I mean, it's the same one, isn't it? The Big Bat? Is this? Is she going to... Where's she at? Where 
Where, where's the bat? I don't know. I'm gonna try get one's attention. Oh, there, I think I just saw it. I've never seen this happen. What's happening? <laughs> yeah, I'm reload. Just, uh, yeah. Yes, I want to save. I've never seen that happen. I've never seen that yeah. happen before. This game never fails to surprise me. <laughs> Don't you guys have a show called like Never Before Seen? As oh well? my god, this checkpoint. <laughs> we we do, yeah. <laughs> just like, just re uh, reshow this next week for that or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> True. I'll have to to put it the idea yeah, up. That'd be good. Yeah. Right, cool. So hopefully it doesn't break this time. Apologies for everyone who uh, is getting frustrated with the game because you're not the only one. So. We need there a soft lock percent. Legit. <laughs> Where's that little one? Yeah, I've like. Well, I think. How many uh, runs do you reckon you've done, Monka? Oh, uh, like failed and yeah, completed? Like, 3,000, Yeah, 4, and you still see stuff every time, like new things, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it never, I swear to, I swear I see something new every time I play this game. So there's like one, uh, well, hopefully the fact that I've, you know, re-saved or reloaded the, uh, reloaded the game, can't talk English. Um, we used to, sometimes we get white screens of death on, uh, Kong levels, mostly when he's jumping from, like, one obstacle to another. Um... Happens sometimes, not all the time. Always happens when you're on like a PB or a world record pace. Oh yeah, don't tell me about it. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, there we go. So now we're gonna transition to our first King Kong. Cool. Yeah, so stage. for this level, um, I use a controller. <laughs> so for every Kong <laughs> level I use a controller, just because the, um, I probably would for the Jack levels, but you don't get the diagonal input. I don't. I just use yeah, mouse and a, keyboard. A I no, I just am too lazy to plug one up. Cool. <laughs> Wait, so yes, yeah, so the first Kong level of the game, uh, it's nothing really special. It's kind of just a uh, like a chase, chase level. Uh, yeah, you gotta save your girl, yeah, man. Save the miso. Uh, yeah. Sometimes if you run fast enough, you can catch the bat, but it doesn't uh, damage it or anything. It does like make the sounds as you might be able to hear, uh, but it actually doesn't do anything. But I just damaged it then too. But I think most uh, most Kong levels either end or have some sort of boss battle uh, within them. Yeah. Uh, also, you might have noticed that the bats uh, have changed color between the two different levels levels yeah now they're blue yeah so on xbox the big bats are always blue um and the little ones are orange uh but for this even the little bats seem to be blue at this section as well Ooh. the uh with the kong stages it's really like uh some i think most of the boss fights are v-rexes i think there's only the only other two are no three are the the bat and the worms yeah so you get i, I think there's is there another two one? more bat ones, uh, but why yeah. don't you fight two bats at the same time? So with this one, uh... Yeah, this is the this is the last time you'll see a bat as Kong until, like, literally two hours yeah. into the game. Uh, so, yeah, what we can do, so, you can hike, you know, beat your chest and go to this rage yeah. mode, but like I said, it slows you down. Uh, so this, this uh, bat here becomes the world's worst parent and decides to send out its kids. Uh, to take us on. Yeah. So we just uh, so just a thirty yeah. foot monster. So the shoulder charging that I'm doing now is the best form of movement and the best attack. So, so we all we pretty much do the is thing pretty much spam X and A. I had to look at what buttons I'm hitting at the same time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but it's a weird thing. I bet you've noticed it also fighting the VRX is you can't spam the same move over and yes. over again. It's like it gets yeah, armor so when you hit a move, so you have to mix the it up. The VRX is like predict your movement as well. Yeah, so like Monk is pretty much saying. Yeah. You have to like mix up your movement, so like a dash attack, then like maybe a dive, and then a throwing it into a wall is usually what you need to do. Because yeah, so, you can't just spam So what we can move. do, yeah, so I can like shoulder charge and then press Y and it does like an, you know, up slam. 
Uh, so you got to like, yeah, wombo combo it. Like, you know, it's always like you're playing Tekken or Street Fighter. I'm out of Mortal Kombat, yeah. running out of fighting games. Cool, so one more shoulder charge and this guy should be done. So one thing I make the mistake of all the time is meeting the the bat on the edge. Uh, all that happens there yeah. is it falls off the edge and you have to kind of go through another cycle. Uh, which isn't optimal. Ooh, don't get the white screen, don't get I never get screen. white screen here. It's Thank in God. the... Um, the one just before the save Anne. Oh, the Kong of the yeah. Rescue. No, no that's the... Jumps, I don't know what that when he jumps called. Between the, I think it's called Skull Islanders. He jumps between the wall. That one. I think it's called Skull Islanders. Yeah. But yeah, that one, I always get the white screen without fail. Well, not without fail, but nine times out of ten I get it. So the camera kind of freaks out a little bit here. I think I'm moving too fast for the game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, casually you're just kind of looking at the floor. And then you just spam your grab. Yeah, you gotta over wait, here. yeah, you go. So for that normally if you wait for the prompt, it's way faster. Otherwise you can uh I you just can spam, spam it. it. I, did but I don't do think that. it's very effective in my opinion, but I just try to see if like because you could see it like pop up for like a split second while she's on the bridge. I'm convinced you can yeah, get probably. it when she's like there. So every Kong level, by the way, ends like this. Uh where they just kinda of look lovingly in each other's eyes. Um I don't know if you would call it that, but uh, yeah, it is unnecessary in my opinion. And we can't skip it, which is in a. I don't know why does he have. <laughs> in a, I don't know what would that like. Why scar on his chest? I don't know, but I've just wrapped uh, like, my controller wire around my earphones. Now <laughs> they're pulling down. <laughs> cool. Bye. Nice movement. Thanks. Been practicing. <laughs> Believe it or not. Cool. Uh, so yeah. there's a strat we can. Gotta grab a There's a strat too. we can do here that I want to try. I guess just purely based for speed. It's just to run across this bridge here without baiting them because the bats get drawn into the bait. Um, but it's really hard. It's not hard, but it's just inconsistent. Um, it's possible, but yeah, it I've probable. done it. I think it's, it saves about like 30 seconds, which is pretty big. I guess when it, you know talking about speed running. Uh, but like I said, if, if yeah, you if die, I... then you, you're gonna lose that. So. Oh, we get to see the big dinos. Yeah, the Brachiosaurus and Brontosaurus. So I'm just trying to fix yeah. my earphones. I don't know why they can't just call them by their normal name. Copyright, I don't know. <laughs> and you copyrighted dinosaurs. I don't know, I asked that question before. Um, so, little weird thing there though, if you kind of hug the weeds, they push you slightly faster. Um, as far as I'm aware, this is the only level it kind of works on. Bang bang. Nice shot. Hopefully I can quickly adjust some stuff before uh oh, you can see my lap the... controller. Oh you're going to millipedes after this. Yeah. I got the millipede skip the other day. I, I told oh, you that you? before. Yeah, yeah, I hope we get it, because it's a it's a cool skip, honestly. I'll, I'll, we'll talk about that when we get there, but there's a lot of skips in this game that aren't I guess it's kind of like RNG based, right? They're not really. It doesn't take skill. The bronze, like the millipede skip, is definitely RNG. Okay, well, yeah, I feel like it's just based off how Hayes walks in like the last section. <gasps> oh, oh God, you got man, that that's good. luck. That's good RNG yeah. right there. This will be flawless. Oh, that wasn't. Oh no! No, you, you opened your mouth, Monka. You shouldn't die. Yeah, you won't die here. Even though you yeah, took a hit. You normally uh, regen your health. Yeah. You'll regen your health before you get hit again. Yeah. Yeah, die. just run through. Just don't get hit by a bat or something. Because I know there is one here. Oh, you got to grab yeah. a hit one. I did not know right broken there. spears could kill those things in one hit. Me neither. Oh my save. gosh, my shot. Oh, save. Nice. That was a good, uh, that was a good canyon. Yeah, it could have been better. Hayes, Denim, this way. Cool. See, I don't know what it is about this level and getting that skip. There, there's something to it. Yeah, so there's a skip in this level here. Um, our pretty much job, anything Hayes is looking at can kill. The ones here, he won't get. 
Uh, he's facing the complete wrong direction right now, so everything I'm saying is a lie. Um, oh, gosh. At have first seen, I thought... Have you seen that many spawn from there before? Holy crap. Uh, yeah, I think it's based off um, where you're aiming, to be honest. Because like, I feel like if I'm like looking at that spawn from below, because Haze will sometimes straight just back up to it. Yeah. And I'll stare at That's it, and they'll true. never spawn from there. But once I stop looking at it, they'll spawn. Okay, let's see if I can get uh, Millipede skip. Yeah, if they, uh, if you, I don't know what the what the indication nope. for it is. Oh, if you hear him yell, that's how you know. Yep. Yeah, All right. Yeah, you didn't get it. If they don't come, uh, I would just kill yourself here because you got a checkpoint. Yes, Jack. Oh, uh, you got him. Good. He just literally left Haze there, I guess. I don't know where Haze is, but... He's about to come, I think, yeah. He was recovering. Yeah, so normally what we I can think... do here, and we're not really sure how it's triggered, but we can ignore this, like, avoid this whole section. Um, I think it has something to do... I don't think... I think it's definitely triggered by not letting Haze get hurt, because every time yeah. I've gotten it, Haze was fine. Yeah, so... It, and this is, like, well, maybe, like, a minute, minute a bit. Yeah, it, it's um, a long section. And then it's the last yeah. time you'll see crabs. This is this level. Technically. <laughs> last time we see crabs, there's actually one level where there is with crabs, but we don't see them. Is it we like you, them. you don't we have to attack them? No, we avoid that area. Oh, that's right, yeah. Oh, not good. Uh, well, <laughs> it's really like most. There's only a couple skips in the game that are um, that are. There's only like I would say that skip and the and skip are the only two that are not really consistent wise. I would say. Damn it! Everything else like that's like. Why is that? Have you noticed that? Like, even if you don't break that door open, it just opens if you die. If you sometimes, if, yeah. If you die, I always notice it's open. So I'm just trying to whoop you up these. Uh, so in a in a I, I guess a normal uh, a non PC run, I could just drop the, the spear. Uh, I don't know where they are. I'm freaking out. Cool. Uh, yeah, you can just drop the spear and kill those. Um, oh, he actually killed it for once. There's crabs. He's not gonna get the one behind him, though. I feel like. Yeah, he's not gonna get the one behind him. I bet money. Where did that fire sphere come from? What? Oh, it hit me instead. When did. Why are there three of them? Oh, okay, cool. There's three fire spears. There were three. Know, fire... was... yeah, yeah, that's confusing. That would have been like really good luck if I broke mine. Yeah, so uh, when I was practicing the run yesterday, I gave up on this section because. Um, what we need to do is spam the walls to. So this is the probably the hardest fire skip in my opinion. Get to her in time. And probably the last one of the game, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. This is the like this is the most major one, and I think it's the last one. Yeah. So this saves so much time. Uh, yeah, like a full. F I think it's six minutes. I think this level's really long. Nice. Yeah, it's huge. Right. Yeah, thanks. So we practice. <laughs> so with this whole level. It's uh, you would have to go all the way through the level and find fire, and burn your way through it. And it's like a six to seven minute level, and with this skip, it's thirty seconds. <laughs> yeah, 40, 45 on a bad day. Yeah. Um, so this, like, for me learning the game, this was probably the hardest trick. Um, and it's a lot harder on Xbox. It's really easy on PC. So. Yeah, like as you see, he just threw it and got it. I think I feel like the throwing is really easy. Yeah, but it doesn't, oh, it's not as effective on uh, what's it called. Yeah, you're gonna have two spawn Next here. Box. So here, he has to kill every enemy for that everybody to progress, especially these dinos. And you gotta watch them because if somebody gets injured, it's so slow. Yeah. And then you and then they'll die from something random. Like a little baby bat or something that you missed. Oh my god. Uh, Ooh, so, that. what you'll probably notice sometimes is uh, I don't know if it's based on like the difficulty that I'm playing on. Uh, sometimes the 
the AI just refuse to help you. Like, you'll be getting the crap kicked out of you, and they just kind of want to stand there and, I guess, like, talk about what they have for breakfast that day. Yeah, especially Jimmy. Oh, you dog. Excuse me, sir. Ignore me. Yeah, I'm sorry. Y'all are going to hear a lot of Jimmy hate in the, in the next levels now that he's going to be a part with this crew. <laughs> he, there he is. There he is. Cool. Yeah, so sometimes he just refuses to cooperate. Um, so this is another babysit section. As much as Jimmy's annoying, it's probably one of my favorite sections purely based on if you can line up the spawns and stuff, you just look really baller. Like hitting all these shots. Yeah, then it's then you gotta hope Jimmy just walks for once. Yes. I Bro, I hit that one. Yeah, you definitely hit that one. Okay, I think he'll. I think he's doing it. I think we're good. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you got so it. No, if he God. doesn't answer uh, Hayes, chances are he's just gonna get killed by the ghost. So. And a lot of times, if you get uh, straight too far away from any of your um, allies, if you want to call them, uh, they would just drop dead. Yeah, so, I think I think what they say is they like die by spiders or something. Yeah, normally it shows like a spider animation crawling over them, but that's sweet. Now it's gonna if you work uh, work if you walk further ahead, they don't want to come down here. I think there's like an invisible line here, so I normally hang here. But they go like you know get themselves through water. Good hydration spot, I guess. <laughs> so I think we're near the hour mark. Are we about hour? In? Uh, we're we're almost at the hour mark. Not quite. All right. How am I, like, that's kind of good. Like yeah, that's actually really good. Nice. I think my split for this is like. Uh, well, I think it's like one hour flat. Yeah, it turns out I'm actually playing. Okay. I, got <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't believe that with all the deaths. So. <laughs> no, nah, man, you're doing great. This is a great run. Don't have to pump my tires up, mate. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, that's a good. Uh, that was a good kill right there. Oh, yeah, dude, um, you gotta hit the sniper for the log when they throw the fire over what? the little hill. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? Where you hit the, the fire? Oh, that. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do it every time. I thought it was necessary. You can also, uh, I found out you could throw it over the left wall right there and hit the, the other thing. Find, we'll find out. The fire's burnt the pack we could take. Did I hit, see if you did I hit the bridge? I, I, yeah, I think you got the bridge. I think the br it, it usually auto locks to... I didn't. Whoa. I've never... And I missed. <laughs> just just go ahead and get it. Don't we'll just die. blame Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy's oh, yeah, screw Jimmy. <laughs> He's not good for moral support. All he does is scream help the entire time you're doing something. Cool. So that went from like a positive to a negative where I did that first part really well and then this part yeah. kind of screwed me See, up. With, the, with, with this level, man, it's just... This level's kind of like pretty RNG. You gotta pretty much hope you get good enemy spawns and stuff. You also gotta make sure Carl doesn't get hit by these dinosaurs. Oh yeah, as you said that ten rounds. Once because for some, because for some reason he won't carry him onto the raft. You have to wait for him to heal. Yeah. Uh, so and this is another part. You've got to try to beat Haze to the to the pistol because uh, oh, we didn't really talk about this yet. The pistol is probably the best gun in the game, like arguably. Well, and then yeah, probably the sniper. The Thompson's the worst. Yeah, the Tommy gun's terrible. So we try to avoid that as much as possible. Uh, so there's some levels where you kind of have to have it. Uh, I think actually it might only be one or two. It's. Uh, I know you have to. Ha you can get it in sh in uh, in the mud, but you you don't have to get it. Yeah. So we try to avoid it like it's the plague at every sort of. A lot of times, instance. like here on the raft, you kind of just want to prioritize <laughs> using spears because if you can keep your pistol for swamps with like 160 bullets in it, then you're then you'll be fine through that level. Yeah. So the next two levels of this are pretty much auto scrollers. So. Yeah. You got to fight the, the skull islanders. Yeah, so if you've got any uh, messages, you can feel free to read them out now. 
Oh, yeah, sure. Um, well, if you missed it earlier, uh, AGDQ 2023 online will be happening January 8th through the 15th, and the second submission period, specifically for games released after September 1st, is now open until November 12th. You can visit gamesdonequick.com for more information on that. Uh, also, if you'd like to follow all things GDQ, uh, just use the command exclamation mark links in the Twitch chat uh, for access to all of our links uh, there. And... Um, yeah, if you are watching this on YouTube from the future and you are enjoying tonight's show, make sure you press the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, and if you're interested in watching our shows live, you can check us out right here at twitch.tv slash games done quick. We start weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern and weekends at 1 p.m. Eastern. And uh, thank you again so much for being here, Prophet and Monka. Uh, and I appreciate everyone watching here in the chat. So. Thank you. Oh, good. Well, thanks for, uh, uh, I guess, being up. Well, for me, it's 2 yeah. p.m., so it's a pretty no, convenient <laughs> for me. For Munker, it's like 2 a.m., so. Yeah, it's 2 oh, in the yeah. morning. <laughs> I, I uh, stay up pretty late anyway, but I'm on the on the West Coast, so it's uh, almost 10.30 for me. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are very lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Monk is on the East Coast, weird, I take it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's all right. I got nothing to do. Uh, I'd rather be here supporting my Kong brother. Kong, Kong boys. Yeah, the Kong boys. <laughs> we should start a band. Yeah. The Kong boys. The first just... song, Jimmy. Oh. Jimmy! It's just it... Jimmy screaming. I was just going to say, yeah. uh, I don't me. know if anyone's familiar with like how familiar people are with Jack Black, but he's in a band called Tenacious D. Um, oh, and yeah. They have a like an LP or something that they released not too long ago, and they have a song called King Kong on it. So um, go listen to that. It's pretty funny. Oh, so is it like um, because of this movie, or it's just. I, I know, assume ironic. so. They released. Yeah, they released it like ages, like kind of recently, but I'm guessing they wrote it for an album. Because I think one of their albums came out in like 2006, so I assume they wrote oh, okay. it for that, but just never released it. So. Nice. But I only kind of, only found it like maybe like three or four months ago. So. Yeah, I know you mentioned that this game is a little bit different from the movie, or or maybe a lot different. But um, I'm curious, what are your opinions of like the movie compared to the game? Uh, the movie kind of spends a lot of time uh in New York and like kind of setting up. And by the time you get to the island, they kind of just forgot about it and speed run it sort of thing. So the actual film, it probably takes them about an hour and a half to get to the Skull Island, where, you know, in any other given movie, that's you're pretty much wrapping up the movie at that point. So, um, I, I like the movie, but I just think it probably could have been better. But. Yeah, I no, would have to fair. say that it, it definitely focused more on the drama aspect, like the the love, like between Anne and Kong and Jack. Like it definitely focused more on that. It was more like a drama than like killing bugs and dinosaurs and yeah, stuff. Yeah, the unsuspecting love triangle that is <laughs> the first <laughs> portion of the movie. Yeah. But yeah, but I, I like I like the movie. I, cause I guess when it all came out, I was a massive fan of Jack Black and I still oh, am. Yeah. I kind of would just see anything he was in. I remember begging my parents to take me to see it. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> but Did they get with you? They, yeah, well, I think I was like nine at the time, so they, I think legally had to. So. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Um, yeah, I was uh, pretty young when I got into this game too. But yeah, I and think, uh, yeah, no, I don't think my mum knew it was like three hours long. So yeah. definitely probably, probably regretted it like very quickly. Oh, I didn't, I didn't realize it was that long of a movie. Yeah, my yeah, mom hates so, that movie because I made her watch it so many times with me. It's like three and a half hours long. Yeah. Gosh, honestly, like nowadays, if if a movie is even two hours long, I feel like I can I can watch an hour and then I'll I'll pick it up the next day. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. I guess that's the good thing about like HBO Max and stuff like that. You kind of yeah, now. it's really different now. Like I don't know how but, much y'all are going to the theaters anymore, but gosh, I haven't been to the theater in a very long time. Yeah, uh, so we don't really, like, so in Australia, we don't really have that option. Like, HBO Max isn't a thing. If you want to consume a movie, you have to go to the cinema, so. Oh, uh, fair. Yeah, we don't have uh, HBO Max or anything. Or, like, or, mind you, Disney Plus, with all the Marvel stuff, they release it well, within, like, 30 days of it coming to the cinema, but I'm dead. Cool. Oh, dude, come on, you can get it. This is the yeah, only so time you a... can kill a B-Rex is Jack. 
Yeah, so let's see if I can get it. I think, uh, is that it? Can, did you get it? Oh, dang, dang it. it. Sorry, sorry people. So what, what he was going <laughs> for there is sometimes you can get the dinosaur to just fall through the floor. So it just, it just makes it one less dinosaur to worry about, essentially. Yeah. So. And you kind of just watch him funnily just trip and fall. <laughs> so I think this one's next. Yeah. Then after oh this, you get our first God. Kong fight with the V-Rexes. Just one of them. Yeah. I, I don't know where this one the goes. I don't know how he can't... You're telling me this V-Rex can't fit through this door? I mean, uh... It's like a plot device, just... right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, or he can't yeah. just go back around. <laughs> so sometimes the uh, the gang freaks out here a little bit. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. It like. Yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I think it's like it guaranteed. Like, it always does I, it for me. I can. It like freezes. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. I got enough Don't worry. Nothing's you, wrong. And you can hear me <laughs> shout. I can. I've got enough magazines. So, it's okay. It's okay. I've got enough magazines. It's okay. I got enough magazines. It's Around okay. 50 bullets on backup. <laughs> I mean, you can still see the subtitles of me saying it too. Yeah, it just ruins the the drama moment that's supposed to be here, and then you're just over spamming how much bullets you have left in your gun. Oh, sweet. All right, first a V Rex fight. A little time save here is if you kill the V Rex fast enough, you don't have to watch a cutscene of Anne running through a doorway. Oh, uh, you're gonna get it. I think you're gonna get it. Nah, I don't think I am. It's eating my inputs. You gotta maybe get the dash. There you go, there you go. Get here, get here. Nice, you get... Oh my no, god. No, I missed it. So. Dang it. Yeah, see, if I, I killed it, if I grabbed it fast enough, I wouldn't have had to watch that. So. And boy, that went for like three balls. or four seconds, but, you know, we're out here being fast, so... Uh, three or four seconds is like four hours in speed run time, I think. You know so what I, I've been told. You ever wondered how Anne... Like, you see where she ran through? She ran through here. How did she get there? It's called teleportation. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, it, like look where you, where you had to go. Like, where, how did she oh. get there? Anne yeah, has I, the abilities I, I, of I've calm. never really thought about it, to be honest, but now now I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Anne has the abilities of calm. Yeah, just leaps. Uh, we just avoid all these uh, Ventosauruses here. I keep punching the air by accident. Sorry, air. Cool. Oh, this is the, this was one of my favorite parts of the game as a kid when you did this right here. So cool. Let the guy stand up a bit faster. Yeah, I've never I seen him. Happen. I've never seen him. You know, they and you see the thing is they get stun oh, lock you. Yeah, so you get bullied essentially. Yeah, you you kind of just have to like just get one down. I don't remember which one you uh, got down first. That one, yeah, that one. So very rarely will they charge you while um, you're in a death animation. The, the, yeah, before the death animation, but it does uh, happen as you guys saw. Oh yeah, gotta love that camera angle. Ooh, cool, I'll do it. Oh no, I was gonna try the one where he puts you on your shoulder, <laughs> but didn't work. Got an E mode on the dinosaur real quick. Yeah, <laughs> playing Fortnite out here. <laughs> Cool. So we're probably we're it's swamps next. Yeah. Yeah, this is swamps. Worst level in the game. <laughs> like yeah, have it because of Jimmy's AI. You will see. Yeah, people can spam their like funniest and age appropriate Shrek jokes in the comments, but it's not going to make the situation any better. Um, this like level's <laughs> horrible. Boys. It's not fun. <laughs> I if find there was that a the worst levels. Oh yeah. Oh, go ahead. I would say if there's a category where I could skip this, like if we picked a one level to skip, I'd probably pick this one. So. <laughs> I always think that like it's either the swamp or the sewer. You know, pick your poison. Like they're both terrible levels usually. Yeah. This one's oh yeah, in games. Dude, this is one of them because the problem is the sometimes you just get bad AI that doesn't like want to swim properly because they have to go in a certain order you notice that property where it has to go Hayes Carl then Jimmy yeah and they will not go in in any other order except that so they kind of just run around waiting on each other and also that uh that bat that just spawned sometimes doesn't spawn uh, it's crazy how they're consistent about that <laughs> yeah oh 
See, this is why you want to save the uh, pistol ammo here, because if you were out of bullets, they give you a pistol, but it has about eight bullets in it. But if you can save it from uh, rafts, you'll have like a hundred bullets oh, to shoot lucky, these man. things with. And once Haze is here, then you could just go, because the other ones won't die. I've noticed that some levels attach like death things to us, like one character. Like everyone else can't die if you run ahead, but like one will. Yeah, the skirt things a bit. Yeah. So the idea here is I try get as far ahead as I can. I think I'm gonna miss this, but yeah. Damn it. So the idea is you keep them alive long enough where I can run through. Yeah. Um, it's a hard yeah. skip, but it saves so much time. Yeah. Because usually here you'd have to babysit them walking slowly through the swamp full of all this, all these, I don't even know what they are, crocodiles. Alligators. <laughs> they don't. Depending where you live. Yeah, according. <laughs> Australian crocodiles. Where is he? Why is he so Dude, far behind? Yeah, so, so what happens usually is sometimes one will spawn back there, Prophet, and it, it is literally only there to kill Haze. That is that is his only life goal. This is why I hate this level. Look how like frantic and chaotic it is. I got enough magazines. Yeah, none of them help you shoot them. No. And sometimes if they're underwater, uh, you can't hit them. Yeah. And no gun kills them very fast. That's That's the bad part. You could probably just run ahead now. He'll die from that one. You can leave it alive yeah, and kill I'm him. Running. Thanks, coach. You can also, <laughs> if it doesn't kill him fast enough, you can uh, do an insta kill here. Uh, one of them's dying anyway, which I'll probably need, but. Michael, he died first. Yeah. Wait. Mr. Denim. Yes, yeah, so this love is horrendous. Eh? It just gets so frantic. Yeah, but this is really the only level like this. There's no other level where you have to go through like this kind of environment with the water. Like not even in the muds like this. No, like, I, I don't I think I don't even think there's the yeah, other is crocodiles in the mud, but it's at the end and you have a sniper. So yeah. And so you don't have to actually makes, Yeah, so what's meant to happen here is you're meant to stand at the top where I grab the fire. Uh, this guy's hum digging for me. Um, yeah, and Hayes is and doing then a you're meant to cover job. them while they cross and then you obviously return the favor uh, i'm not gonna do that today i'm not gonna do that any day while playing this game i'm just gonna run ahead so yeah hopefully uh, jimmy doesn't come with you stuck on some invisible thing i think it's a kong level i always get this one confused yep yeah this is this one of the more abstract kong levels i always forget this one exists yeah i always like get ready to play as jack and then next thing you know i'm swinging a lot because the next stuff. level i think as Jack is the log. Yeah, uh, classic. So uh, yeah. on speedrun.com, we have a a log percent. Uh, not weird flex, currently hold the world record for it. Um, if you don't want to speedrun the whole game, please speedrun the log. Uh, we want to make it as competitive as possible. Yeah, it's so. like a minute 16%. 16 speedrun, or you just fall off the log as fast as you can. Yeah, that's the that's whole legit. Run. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. So that's how. It's like a yeah, I know. It's just, and my time's the worst. It's, yeah, it's funny. <laughs> so on Xbox, it's the fastest, I think. Yeah, because you can because you could fall off it so easy on console, but I can't get it on PC. Well, even on PC now, I can't get it. So. And yeah, here's where the the for some reason the could. The controls invert when you're facing yeah. the side. I'm kind of used to it now. When I first started playing the game, I was like freaking out. Sometimes the Ventosauruses will jump down here. Um, gotta gotta grab your. Gotta grab Anne. Grab the Miso. Yeah. Get your girl. <laughs> he misses. Mr. Steal your, <laughs> Mr. Steal your girl. There you go. <laughs> Jack casually making all of his friends go through pain just to get his girl back. Yeah, pretty much. He didn't even tell her he likes it yet. That's the craziest yeah. part. All right, like in the movie, to where like at the beginning he's like trying to flirt with her, and he tells her he has nice, she has nice sea legs. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do after this. I'm gonna watch King Kong again. No. <laughs> yeah, movie night. Oh, good. That was good. Right, bye, see ya. Oh yeah, yeah. Get up there for the bats get you. 
Yeah, so you can't shoulder charge got while it, holding nice. hand. A suplex, yeah, cool. Perfect. So normally what happens, so, oh, also I want to add, every time there's a cutscene like that, I'm still live. Like, I can still play. Uh, yeah, I've noticed. Stuff still attacks you. I've noticed that, like, Kong is the only, like, there's only one cutscene that plays when you're Jack. Like, an in-game cutscene to where, like, everything's still, like, moving and stuff with, like, in the level. There's only one, but I think every Kong level has, like, an in-game cutscene. Yeah. I'm trying to get off the wall. Yeah, I don't know why so many bats spawn here. They they send no enemies except these bats. And they, de like, despawn as soon as you, are. Uh, yeah. Up here. Once you climb up, they just go, eh, we can't fly anymore. Yeah, just, so there's two cutscenes here back to back, which I think are really unnecessary. They could have just merged yeah. into one. Anyway. You literally watch this T-Rex bang his head and get stunned. I just play games that don't make them, so... Oh, no. Just yeah, for some reason you have to... Yeah, you gotta do a little shuffle. Lower him over here. Get off me. What's this guy doing? Hello? Oh my, I don't know why when you're in a fight, it would let you lock back onto the log. I never understood that. But you uh, got so, the, you yeah, got the so knockdown, nice. Yeah, so to save a little bit of time, instead of going through that whole like execution animation, um, we just throw them off the edge. Then they, I don't know if they die, but they're not our problem anymore. So, <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> whoever, whoever downs there is a problem. I don't know if you got this experience too, Prophet, but when I was younger, this game scared me to death. Uh, <laughs> maybe. I can't remember. I was pretty scared to play this game sometimes. I mean, I was scared to play Resident Evil Village when it came out. <laughs> like, I remember I was as a like kid, and all, I specifically was like the Brontosaurus level, when you like you had to run away from all the dinosaurs while carrying fire back to the your friends. That, yeah, that, that was terrifying. Yeah, so this is the uh, log level, by the way, too. So, yeah, fall off a log percent. Yeah, pretty much. And this is that, like, that's the route. Our, this is our bread and butter, pretty much. Time? <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> not time. <laughs> so, a Keep little thing. That, <laughs> uh, a little thing I've noticed, at least it happens on the Xbox, if you walk during this, um, you're like permanently swimming, which like breaks the game. I'm over here. Uh, it doesn't happen, seem to happen on the PC version. I don't know why it does that. So I think there's another uh, Kong level after this. So, uh, oh, also, Shad, when it uh, comes to the film, uh, Hayes normally dies here, and this is pretty much like the last thing we see on Skull Island, is us yeah. going into the ravine. And then they fight all the bugs. But I don't know why, apparently... Uh, I watched like the, all the things, and there was supposed to be a level at the bottom of that log where you fought all the things that were in the movie, but yeah. they just they cut it for some reason. Hello. Which I I think I know for a speedrunner's perspective that I'm glad they did because it made, they made the level a lot longer. But yeah, it, it sounded like it would have been so cool. So the hopefully it doesn't happen because I have died quite a bit. Um, towards the end of this, we get like a white screen of death. Um, so I have to reset. Uh, not the game, just the level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, not the, yeah. Oh, I've never seen you uh, red screen I'm, here. I've never been beaten within an inch of my life in this part. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just hate how the yeah. game, like, plays that, like, chorus of, like, yeah, ladies just, like, singing an opera. Thing. Yeah, the opera thing. Where's, I need this. Do some house maintenance. Kong's just a big Roomba at this point. A Robovac. Yeah, Kong's really not being nice to the people of his island. I mean, they're trying to steal his girl. Yeah, they're trying to steal his girl to sacrifice him back to her him. Like, I, I don't understand <laughs> the logic uh, so of what, these Skull Islanders. So I just missed the log throw, so now I have to wait oh, for yeah. and to... Uh, Huh, I thought that took way Still longer than I thought. Also, oh. why is she like... Is she about to... Oh, I thought she was like kind of floating there for a second. But wait. I don't know. I honestly thought that took way longer for her to kill the bat than it did. I think it, it 
I think it depends. Also, I think the shoulder charge seems to be like the most powerful attack we have. Yeah, no doubt. Besides like using like a weapon or something. Yeah. So coming up, I may get white screen of death. Um, I um, kind of panic sometimes. It that you do so you don't. Okay, cool. Sometimes I panic and I don't know what buttons to hit. We're good, we're Gucci. Go. Yeah, so sometimes it, uh, it, it happens I there. Dang, you got some height on that jump there. Yeah, big boy. <laughs> All right, now here we comes to save and Jack, not Jack Black. God, you've made me say that now. <laughs> Jack will save his girl from Kong. So this is, uh, in my opinion, the second worst level in the game. Oh, I like uh, this level. No, I hate it. <laughs> what, would you say, what would you say the second worst is then? The second oh, worst level? Oh, without a doubt, to the plane. To, oh, yeah. We haven't even got there yet. Right, cool. I like uh, this yeah, level so this... because of, like, the strafing. I, I like the strafing. Yeah, this so this level's just annoying in my opinion, right? I'm entitled to it. Crazy stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that, <laughs> it's just, you don't have a... Uh, just, she takes forever to open the door, for starters. Uh, you only have spears and stuff. Oh man, I hit that. Uh, it's just like, it just seems like unnecessary long. And she tells me to shoot it, which I don't know if she... How she assumes I have a gun? I don't know. I didn't know screenwriters were so brave. Neither did yeah. I. <laughs> I love that dialogue. There you go, shoot at him. Yeah, I don't know. Unless she thinks we have a gun. Um, I don't know if she looked at me for like two seconds. She'd probably realize that I don't have one. I love that someone said the accent contrast is amazing. <laughs> All right, hang on. Funny. What, between like you and I, or? Yeah, between me and you. <laughs> I don't even have an accent. What are you talking about? Where I'm from, I just, everyone sounds like this. So this part here, we just got to try to survive while Anne opens that door. It takes about 20 years. Um, sometimes the V-Rex will have a tantrum and knock down the pillars. Actually, it happens a lot. There you go. Yeah, he doesn't like the buildings. He doesn't like yeah, pillars, buildings. Oh, the spear's still up there. Oh, it's gone now. And also, the less damage you do to it, the faster they like run at you. Move. Yeah. And I've you saw real quick, he did like a jolting animation. Uh, that's just him trying to like eat me, essentially. Oh, wait. How did I miss? So Monkey can normally time this like really well on how long it takes to uh, for the door to open. Well, if you if you had sub splits, I would I think it's like two forty six or something like that. It ends. Yeah, it, something like that. Oh. Yep. Yeah, cool. I love and how she like she's almost. She's done. barely opening it. Uh, yeah. I love how she goes. She's almost. She says she's almost done, and she's like not even close. I would just play it safe since you don't have the timer and just wait till she says it's open. Oh, you're gonna clutch. Oh, you're gonna play it's dangerous. Well, the thing about here is for some reason, if you like get under this door, it'll lo she'll he'll lock onto Anne. Oh my! I was like, she gonna open this goddamn door? <laughs> Dude, oh, damn. you gotta love it. Cool, so I got past, I literally, I'm like, I need a uh, heart rate monitor. It's going like a thousand miles an hour. <laughs> this level's stressful sometimes. Hurry, After all the stuff that happened, I already look goofy as hell. <laughs> Last <laughs> one, <I'm there. laughs> Then you gotta meet up with the boys, the Kong the boys. boys. Hand, the OG <laughs> Kong boys. Yeah, except Jimmy. He's not part of the boys. Huh? Yeah, Jimmy smells. What was that? Yeah, you don't like Jimmy. Is that you? It's us! <laughs> Should have left him on this island. Jack. You kind of notice I a little bit that uh, <clears throat> he has like costume changes. 
Yeah. Like, I think Hayes' shirt changes every now and then. I need to try to open my water while playing the game. Crazy stuff. Not happening. It's him. It's Kong. He's looking for you. So this is a level they probably could have just thrown on the back of the last level we just played, but they thought it deserved its own little level. So I'm getting slapped around by Kong. And we're about to see his big his brown eyes, big, big beautiful. When you brown stay eyes. at this level, he like is so confused on why he won't attack Anne. <laughs> yeah, I love that part where he's like, "Did he? Did you?" Oh, so you notice that uh, Anne also teleported here? I was way in front of her. I was winning that race. Yeah. Sometimes, like she won't, she'll be there, but Kong won't. It's weird. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever seen that. There's a door up there. Cool. So this is uh, no, we do a fire skip here as well. Wait. Oh yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah. This this is the last one. This is the this last is the last. Oh, uh, I mean, technically second last one. But... All right, man. <laughs> I mean, I I'm forgetting. I'm I haven't played it. I haven't played this in a while. I, haven't I played this yeah. like yesterday. I've already forgotten. Yeah, it's kind of hard. I mean, you got 40 levels. You kind of just go on the fly. It's okay. I got enough. Yeah, I can remember when I get to him. But yeah, like once I get to the level, I'm like, oh, this is what I gotta do. Yeah, yeah see bigger, here, uh, you, do the, you do the same thing I do. I just run up to him and I just kill him. Where they can but get the to the Ventus is like, I'm in grass, I'm taking my sweet time. They lock onto your teammates. Why can I not? Dude, the grass is the worst. Like, it'll be like two inches of grass, and they will, like, and you will be slow to a crawl. I, I, it's weird how some of them will die in like two hits, and some of them. Yeah, take I think they get, uh, they take full damage, I think. That's oh, what they I think, definitely do. I definitely know they can take fall damage. It also it here. might have to do something with headshots as well. Maybe. Oh my god. I think the first two track onto your friends and then all of the rest track onto you. Yeah. They're like, damn, this guy means business. I mean in a perfect world, right? We'd probably stand on the edge there just to try like so they just fall to their death instead. Um This is a perfect world where they'd only have one spawn. <laughs> And you can just sit under it. Oh, that dude flew. <laughs> Did that one die? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think it out, died. Right? Yeah, yeah, I think it died. You're good. I think Jimmy would be knowing right now. Yeah, he'd be gone. So this is where we uh, we made a baby V-Rex for the first time. They... What? He's able to help. They are killable by the player. Um, you see a couple of Ventosaurus randomly spawn. Great spawn triggers there. Oh, is he getting bit? He's gonna get thrown to once you shoot him. It's funny. Oh, you didn't get the throw animate. The throw animation's so funny. Probably would have killed him, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, yeah, where did he come from? Oh, he didn't die for some reason. And they're so easy to kill. I don't know why they're like hyped up in this level. Oh, he's gonna get killed by the ghost. You can't do anything about this. Yeah, he's gonna die by ghost. This is why we hate Jimmy. Yeah, so I was staring at him. Nothing wrong with him. <laughs> <laughs> there's your reason. Twenty good reasons by Hooper Stink. Is it by Hooper Stink? I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Talking about my ass. So, uh, one thing I should add, and I think we forgot to do it before, every enemy is like hostile towards each other. Right. Uh, they like eat each you, other. Yeah. They do reference it at some point. Yeah, you could definitely like bait different enemies into other enemies so they fight each other so you can get through levels faster. Some levels are actually faster if you get lucky and like, like for example, on the level back at the beginning of the game, uh, the sacrifice, if you can get the dinosaur to track onto the centipede, you can just open the door while he's killing yeah, the centipede. The little things like that. Ah, cool. So this is technically the second last fire skip of the game. Uh, I need to kind of set myself up for it. 
Uh, so what we do is just kind of uh, spam the spear into the floor. There is obviously no water hitbox in the floor. Uh, I guess there's a bit of oversight, but I guess theoretically we're not meant to be doing that, so... Make sure to trade with uh, Hayes for his yeah. gun for the mud. Hayes? Yeah. Because for some reason he has like 114. Yeah, he has like so many bullets. Yeah, and then he, he trades just, his gun in the next level. <laughs> just shows he doesn't have anything. And for some reason, it, I looked it up. In the mud, you can't trade guns in the mud. There's certain levels yeah, where I've, you can't trade guns. I've tried before. Yeah, it doesn't work. Cool. Awesome. Wait, so I think I mean we we'll really call this a fire skip. Normally, you can there is fire on this level. Um, yeah, we just kind of do it because it's a little quicker. Oh wow, you got. I I think there is like a little death window though when it comes to getting hit. Yeah. Like if you take if you take two back to back hits like within like three seconds it won't kill you. Yeah. I mean, it looked like it, right? Yeah, I mean, that looked like kind of like it was kind of like a back to back hit. I think it sometimes does depend on the enemy, but also I have died a few times, so it probably thinks I'm not very good at the game, so it's giving me like a medium <laughs> difficulty instead of like a hard. I don't need that. Yeah, then you gotta wait for Hayes to die here to get yes. the checkpoint skip. This is another intentional death. Yeah. There you go. I'm just gonna try kills yeah. in the meantime. I've always wondered if you like could get the thing killed if it would skip the checkpoint and you could just be done with the fight. That would be so nice. Yeah, I wish, right? But apparently not. Yeah. What? What? Wait. It's okay. I got enough magazine. What? No, wait. Is San as soon as I say it? Huh? Okay. Well, now we know. Yeah. So this that's a um. <laughs> we we just found a new that's skip. New. So hey, that's new. <laughs> <laughs> As I say it, right? Can we call this one Profit Skip? I need to get one in my name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll call it Profit Skip. Cool. Profit <laughs> GDQ Skip. That time. Yeah, I gotta name it. Sweet. So there is probably one other skip that I had found. Um, Dude, you just saved like a minute. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's crazy. So normally what you have to do, like you don't normally spawn up there, you spawn pretty much at the beginning of the cave. I need to throw this. Um, yeah, you have to redo the fight. Yeah, so I... Yeah, we, oh man, I'm speechless. Man, dude, live on TV, <laughs> live on television too. Crazy stuff. Um, oh, where is he? There he is. Dude, that was crazy. I was literally saying, "Is like, man, I've tried that so many times to see if it works, and I could not get Maybe it." Maybe you have to kill their babies as well. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I just, just pipes. Dude, that's I wasn't hype. like, I just killed everything. Huge! Wow. So, Dude, that is like that is huge. That's a huge find. Yeah, probably say well about a minute, minute and a half at most. But yeah, that's yeah, that's that's like a minute time. You about to hit uh, one forty nine? Yeah. Now I gotta load this game up again. Yeah, Thanks, Prophet. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I think uh, Munker, what's your coming for yet? What's your summer best, Munker? Uh, like a one forty six. Yeah. So. I think Monkey's like world record right now is like 151, 152. Yeah, it's 152 post posted right now. I have a 151. I just never uploaded because I didn't like it. Yeah, he didn't like it, but yet he <laughs> beat the world record again. So, um, well, I mean, it was just like it's a terrible run. <laughs> just, like you, you've been watching, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> um, yeah. So I, um, we definitely can get this game below 150. I think my summer best is 151, but I can never get a good run. So, let's we'll see how yeah. this one goes. I, I'm about to hit profit skip so hard yeah. next time I run this game. <laughs> uh, so, a little part here, sometimes the uh, the V-Rex... Uh, get his it's just tail not, stuck in the Yeah, wall. it's just not very compliant. So, if he doesn't reach this little entrance here, um, the game's like broken. But normally to... For us to tell what, what's happening is we'll get dialogue from Anne or something. Hurry! Cool, he's there, thank god. And summons what can also happen uh, later on as well. So he'll go around and bust through the wall over there. Um, sometimes, and I'm not sure how it's triggered, uh, we can make it not spawn at all. So uh, Anne will climb this wall within the next like three or four minutes and light her urn. 
Oh, we can skip that. Oh, we, we can't skip the her climbing, but we can just kind of hang out, talk to our friends, that sort of stuff. Yeah. Also, my screen's still shaking. We need a Jimmy skip. Yeah. He's not a monster. No, he smells. He could have killed me, but he didn't. Instead. I mean, to be fair, they probably all smell right now. So. I mean, we did play the swamp not too long ago. I know Kong. I trust him. Man, dude, I'm just still in awe about that skip. Yeah, that is crazy. crazy. <laughs> That's insane. Wait, no, we should call it GDQ or Hotfix skip or Time Capsule skip. Yeah, Time Capsule. <laughs> oh, you know, in honor. It's completely up to you. Nah, no hard feelings we, yeah, if we'll, you don't. We'll call it Time Capsule skip. That's the new one. We'll post yeah. about it after. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to see the post. Sweet. I'll just tell like, everyone how handsome Monker is again. And we'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that when you posted in the news. Yeah, that's just to get people to, to come in, you know. Like, yeah, you already know. Even though they're not gonna see you at all, but and they can come see my, they can come see me dressed up as Anakin Skywalker. Yeah. Don't move from here. <laughs> at a uh, Instagram forward slash monkamonk16. Oh, Jimmy's cocked. Oh, no, he's not. He's cocked, ready to go. Oh, crap, I didn't follow her. No, he's scared. Jimmy's scared. I thought he was, like, getting ready to throw hands with the V-Rex. Cover me, Jack. Okay. Kill the get his oh, that one didn't die. Dude, I'm just getting ignored. Damn. Gotta reload. Dinosaur wants your girl, not you, yeah, man. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah. Is she climbing? Oh, she is. Oh, something I should add. I'm not ha sure how to do it on the... I don't hit any buttons. Oh, cool. Yeah, so you can scope in with the guns. Uh, we never use that at all. I'm just going to ask. There's a per there's an important character that dies on this level. I want to know what y'all think it is. Who y'all think it's going to be? Yeah. Comment in the... Uh in the comment section, not comment section. Yeah, who do you think's gonna comment die? Comment section if you're watching on YouTube. In the chat if you're watching live on Twitch right now. So a little thing I need to do hey, is uh, Jimmy, and yeah. I assume y'all don't think it's Jack. So, so a little thing I forgot to mention. So the bats I have to keep off end, otherwise she's just gonna take her time to light the urn. So, which isn't ideal. So this is probably, I reckon the finest Kong level, to be honest. Not now, coming up, but... Karambe dies. <laughs> I mean, not wrong, but if we played 100%, yeah, not wrong. he would not, he would not. We save him. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, uh, unfortunately, they changed it up. Poor Hayes. Yeah, so Hayes dies. Well, he's actually lucky. Uh, in the movie, yeah, he's not dead yet. <laughs> what did I do? Yeah, I skip too early. So that happens. It like loads your gun sprite for some reason for a so second. In the movie, he actually dies a lot quicker. He dies at the log stage. Stage like it's a video game. I think get him over yeah, here. The, yeah, the log section. Nice fight there. Yeah, this is really good. And you got him near the door? That's yeah. good. And, and Yeah, just, for some reason, during this cutscene, you can still move. <laughs> yeah, so if I can plan this right, what I can actually do... Yeah, cool. So yeah, what I did got is it. I right. busted through a door early, because like I said earlier, you're still live in all the all the Kong cutscenes. Um, it saves... Oh, Maybe like point one of a second, but it just you look cool doing it. So, Harambe's gonna look as cool as possible yeah. before he falls off the Empire State Building. There's another really cool uh, Harambe part coming up too. Yeah, Wait. I never understood why they put this part. <laughs> you know which one I'm I talking know, about. I know what you're talking about, and we're all gonna witness it together. Yeah. Uh, everyone ready for it? Big jump. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Big jump. Slow mo. Oof. And then he chills. Slow mo. Him. Chills. <laughs> oh, I got lucky there. So sometimes you can just die there because 
Um, I don't know if anyone's familiar with Pokemon, but they're like Dragapult's kids. And I just get launched at you. So, All right, just make sure to line up your... Yeah, so another here. little thing is you meant to fight two of these bats at the same time. Uh, gave that, one, that one. Gave that one a concussion. <laughs> Doesn't want to fight me anymore. Uh, I like the yeah, the only one that changes from the other ones is these ones are weaker and they send your bats while they're doing their Yeah, so animation. it's kind of faster. And if you're lucky, um, you'll kill the other little bats surrounding it right now. If not, you have to kill them yourself because they won't let you climb up the wall. And I can see this one still alive. There you go. Now oh, here comes the worst V-Rex fight. I think it's the funnest, but... You like this one? Yeah, I think that's why I said it's probably I the best. I can't stand this ever. fight. I can't stand this fight. The la I like this level. I just can't stand the last part of it. Yeah. So the uh, earlier when I threw the V Rex off the cliff to avoid the, um, I guess the like, the glory kill X like animation. I don't want to. I don't think it's got a name to. It might do. I just never looked it up. To avoid that, we um. Hello, are you gonna climb down for me, my guy? Appreciate it, my homie. I want to know where this is at. <laughs> in Skull Island. <laughs> yeah, I know, but like, where did they. Where does lava, where does lava like, come where? from? What a plot to Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool, so we get to fight uh, three V Rexes here, and I need to try to throw them all off the cliff because. It's so fast. Oh, no. Yeah. But the problem is, is like, they all rush you, and he just knocked his own friend over. I've never seen that. That one's interested in your... I'm locked your... into the... Oh, there's That's one. one. Yep, there's one. Is this two? Oh, and yeah. He's... See, it feels he's... like they, he never throws it in the direction you want to. Oh, cool. there's, there's two. Three. So I need to try to lure... I don't know if it's worth like luring this one over, to be honest. I don't, I I'm do trying it. to figure out now, too, is if it's really worth it to try to get that one thrown off, too. Because, yeah, you do skip it, but like he has to walk all the way away. So I think it might be just better to just kill it. Yeah, cool. Because it doesn't take I am right off. next to the door as well, so... Anytime I probably spend walking over there, I probably just saved. Is this not just Australia? <laughs> uh, pretty much. This is like my walk to schools <laughs> most days. I mean, I haven't been in school for 10 years, but when I was at school... Yeah, it was just Skull Island. Here's a, a fun Australia fact. Look up um, the Emu War. Oh my god, dude. Are you really going to make them look that... <laughs> we lost to a bunch of emus, bro. They just outsmarted us, <laughs> outmaneuvered us. So, you're safe here. They should make a video game like yeah, that. This is the death of Hayes. Very sad. We will ignore it. You have to get back to the ship. Mr. With these Unfortunately, we have to endure Jimmy for one last level. Oh no. Mr. Look at these shoes, though. What are those? Jimmy, stay covered. They're here. Oh, how did I miss? Oh, pardon me. <laughs> Emus are bulletproof. <laughs> <laughs> Emus are actually terrifying. Isn't that... No, that, that was the dingo that ate the baby. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's the other I don't thing. think uh, emus are carnivorous, to be honest. Yeah, Maybe in the, I know there was like that thing. In, in the Peter Jackson universe, they could be, but... So this is a see if it happens here. Sometimes if you run too far ahead of Jimmy here, he'll just uh, get killed he by. He just dies. Yeah. Because just... why not? You know. Damn it! Oh, <laughs> I hit it too. Oh yeah, you got it. Nice. Yeah, I feel like you have to like walk through all these things so Jimmy's like tracking doesn't mess up. Yeah. So. And even then, like, uh, from... I've never seen that dino run away though. That's weird. Dead now. And then you got one that spawned right here, right in front of your face. And for some reason, Jack didn't reload his gun. See, that's weird. Why didn't Jack reload there? I was flexing. Uh, before we started the uh, stream, I was flexing to Munker how I had a really clean level of this the other day. Um, was not yet. Just then. But yeah, so there's uh, walking through these uh, creates checkpoints sometimes. Um... <laughs> So in a perfect world, I wouldn't have to do that or do this again. Yeah, I just want to let y'all know that if like you play this game normally, like casually, it, it, none of this stuff happens. <laughs> like yeah, I, I try, just... I actually, 
it's actually a pretty well made like non glitchy game in general. It's just we we make it look terrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not designed for this. Yeah, it's definitely not designed to do this, but we do it anyway. But you can always argue that with any game, to be honest. Because we don't like Jimmy. But dying here is kind of good in the sense that uh, there's a bit of fire over there that won't spawn um, if we play the level, uh, play the level, like I guess straight from spawn, if that makes sense. Um, he's dead. And then what you have to do is kind of shoot and then hope Ooh. that... See, I've noticed um, that when you hit the headshot, it's, it's just instant. And you just got to hope Jimmy doesn't soft lock here. So what normally happens is I will try to talk to him. Jimmy. There you go, cool. I think you're good. So what I yeah, had before, he, he stands on top of this thing here. Um, he doesn't get down. He's scared of heights. Um, How does he get up there? I don't know. What? I was just like, I was like looking at angle horn. Go ahead, Dude, how do you get Climb this in. so flawlessly? I saw fuck on this level every time. Jimmy, well, I just like reloaded at this point. Normally I do, but uh, I haven't. So I, I'm literally to the point came to where I think it's faster and more reliable. Just reload the level. Yeah. Oh, I did die. So technically it's reloading the level, right? Yeah. Let's follow the plane. I can't wait. All right. So. From now on, it'll just be Jack. Yes. Just Jack. So, baby, oh, wow. baby sister simulator goes out the door. I can't find my W key. Now um, it's all movement and all skill. Okay, I'm going to insta die now. <laughs> Get rid of that. I don't want that. Gotta reload. Oh, there's my spear. I'll try uh Prophet's got all the skill, he's got this. A quick scope for uh, some swag points. Yeah. I don't know why I keep picking the spears up, I don't need them. It's just like a... Like a comfort. I think it's just reflex. It's like a comfort thing. So there is like one tiny skiff in this section. Um, I noticed it, I'm not sure, but I don't know if you've kind of figured this out yet, Monka. Do you, it doesn't work for me when I'm damaged. I don't know if like, we're what? like this, you know, when you're of that part there. Yeah. You ever taken damage there? Did I land on someone? Like uh, jumping down from there or jumping to the water there? Jumping to the water. I've never taken damage, no. Cool, so if we hide here, the uh, bats and stuff can't get us. I need to carry fire into this next part for a lever. Baby V-Rex, we can kill it. Why would we? I uh, need that, take that, take that back. Get out of my way, dinosaur. Yeah, just kind of throw it to the side and then just casually do this. Oh, I did it. Cool. Cool. Hard to see because yeah. um, I'm taking damage. So apologies. And listening to an opera. Yeah. <laughs> but so what I did is pretty much like kind of launch myself off a barrier. If I didn't do that, I would have to walk back through the way I came. But then the V or baby VRX would still be chasing me. Um, so that's kind of a little, a little niche skip that we have. I'm actually not sure who discovered that. Was that you, Monka? I feel like it was you. Which one? Uh, no, I, I, never, I never did it, and then I just saw Yukio casually do it. He said, yeah, we've been doing this for about five years. I'm like, oh, okay. True, never noticed. <laughs> yeah, because for me personally, to uh, learn this run, I quite literally just uh, watched the world record okay. run of this. I so, and just took a, some mental notes. And that was it. I think obviously at the time it was your uh, run, Monka. It was like a. I think at the time I had like a two o two. Yeah, it was like a two o yeah, two. So. And then I finally got it down to one fifty nine, and I and then I got it on one fifty six, and that's where I sat for a while. Yeah. Cool. So this is probably the. Uh, nah, I like the last Jack level with a gun at least. Get our attention. I like the level. I like this next level coming up. I like the fight. Yeah, so I guess we'll talk about fight in the uh, in the lair. There's like to the lair, yeah. fight in the lair, uh, something else about a lair. What am I? 
I'm literally stuck on something. Yeah, I think it's not letting oh, you try Oh, I think to I'm progress. stuck on the... The worm? Yeah. So I actually found a skip on this level too. All unintentional, never planned. Uh, these worms here take, I think it's six kills to, or six hits to kill on a good day. Uh, I've already lost count, I think that's four, five. Five. Once two. the prop pops up, yeah. So it's six. Let's see if you can get the, the trick here. Yeah. No. So in a perfect uh, world, I meant to hit that so worm, one. and it's gonna two. it despawns essentially. Three. I missed the. Oh, you got away. That one. That one's on four. Catch. <laughs> the, the environments where. Six. All right, that one's good to kill. Yeah. So the environments was there's heaps of stuff to grab and. Uh, like the grab and swing on. Uh, probably the where did that other one go? I think he went back up to the wall. That's not him. I think that might be it. Yeah, it's in there. Oh, these kids are on me. Come here. Yeah. So with that other one, if I knock that uh, worm back into its, I guess where it came from, it despawns. So I only have to do fight one of these. Damn. I think that's two, three. I hit that one a few times. Yeah. Is it? I think it might be good. Yeah. Nice. Good fight. I'm is all right. Yeah. So I originally found the skip. I guess all an accident. Trying to. I was just kind of, you know, mucking around. And then somehow knocked that worm back into the spawn. Hurry, Jack. This way. So this is another level that's really kind of random and unnecessary. Yeah, and yeah it's like, uh, I call them cinematic levels, yeah. is how I imagine they're supposed to be. On Xbox, from memory, this level, you couldn't jump off the edge until Anne jumps off. Um, on this one, you can just jump. So it puts like a barrier... So you have to jump together. You know, it's like a cinematic thing, I guess. Um, you know, if this was a movie, there'd be a camera like back here and watch you all do it. But yeah, there ain't. So Thank you. when's Kong spawn? I actually don't know where he spawns from. Yeah. I don't know if... I uh, something I do, and I don't know if you do as well, Monka, but I normally stand on the rafts as far forward as I can, just in case, like... The trigger. Yeah, the I never thought about that. Yeah, I don't know if it works or not, though. I guess like, I don't really have any proof. I should probably stand, like, further back um, next time I do a proper run and compare it to my splits. So... I think you see him spawn randomly here. There you go. Oh, he remembers you from earlier. I think, I don't know. I don't know what Gorilla's memory's like. <laughs> Wait. So this is another level that has a very mini, uh, a little skip. So now what you're going to see now is uh, environments that we've seen before. You're going to be seeing, this is a level from the beginning of the game. You were going to be backtracking through old levels. Yeah. Back so to the ship. If you've been watching from the beginning, you'll probably, uh, you might remember this one. If not, yeah, that's this okay. Is I forgive you. Yeah, here's a little clip. You don't have to burn these bushes. You just do what Prof is about to do here and just if I get casually it. clip. Not very casually. It's a little tricky there sometimes. Cool. There it is. Nice. So you actually can't do it. It's. Uh, I think a Monkey tried to explain to me. It's got something to do with your camera angle. That's why you can do it. Right. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Like. Because we've never really. I don't know if you can like no clip in this game. See how big Jack Model is. Like I don't know how like wide and. What he can fit through, what he can't. What his dimensions are. Yeah, like I have no idea because I've never seen like uh, somebody like take the camera away from like yeah. a first person perspective. I'm a I'm computer illiterate, so I, there's no way I could set any of that up. So yeah, you need to get that guy who does the <laughs> the boundary break stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm like riding the 
Velociraptor? The dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> so here's another little skip. There's a lot of little skips at the end of this run. Yeah. He's just going to run ahead and ignore Anne and just run ahead to the end of the mission. We'll get attacked. Well, they for some reason, they can't catch up to you. I, I don't know why, but they just don't. And for some reason, Anne doesn't care that you just leave her behind. Can you run ahead on this one, Monka? Have you tried? What, right here? Yeah. No, the fire will kill yeah, you. Yeah, so on Xbox, you actually can avoid the fire and run uh, run ahead. Um, on PC, seems that you can't do that. But what I probably should do, and I don't know if it helps or not, is burn... Oh, yeah, just kind of wait. Like, go ahead and just go in there and then burn just kind of burn it. Burn I would it. throw it to the back. Oh, and has gone. Oh, I've never seen that happen before, but okay. <laughs> Did she die? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just kind of run ahead a little bit and then just yeah. kind of burn it in front of you. Yeah. Yeah, so on the Xbox version, the it might even be just a console thing in general. Um, oh, I gotta remember that. This is the same thing up ported to the PlayStation and stuff, where the, um, is it the... Is yeah, it's the, it's the PS2 GameCube, I think it's the PS2 edition ported. Yeah. Uh, where the, there is a, another edition where it's just the uh, Xbox 360 version, like a special edition. But that's slower, I don't think you get the double... Um, <sighs> the double inputs, the diagonal movement inputs, so. We haven't really tested it, to be honest, so we probably should, Sorry, eh? Jack. We're not that far ahead of them. We're yeah, we really should. I, I really need to test that thing, the, the scorpions, because now that we know about the, the in the mud skip and if that scorpions thing is true, yeah. that's a lot of time. So. About to have a whole two hours. Yeah. Uh, so this is... Get this game under one hour. This is the last end, uh, the last Jack... Mission, technically speaking. Um, so this is oh, yeah, this is kind of just follow Anne. She'll Something's not right. go down here. Let's hurry up and get through here. And then, anyone if anyone remembers us. from earlier when we ran through it's here, probably not because they did it really the fast. Ship. There's a bridge here that we ran across. So this is where Anne got do. sacrificed originally. Um, Over here, Jack. So now we just follow her around. Yeah. So there used to be a bridge here. <laughs> They've broken it. Don't move from there. I'm gonna I think we were here. But for some weird reason, thinking about it now, the perspective of what I saw compared to like seeing Anne or seeing now was like way Anne, different. So there's something I want to tell you. What is it you want to tell me? Skull Islanders. Jack! Dude, you don't need a spear for this next level. I just think it's funny, and I'll show you why. Yeah, this is one of those another cinematic levels to where there's no enemies. You just kind of go with the flow. So this is the last uh, Kong and Skull Island mission. Also, you notice that... Oh, no, wait. There is one more technical jack. Yeah, but not really. Um, That's yeah, one of those like, like cinematic cutscene type things. Yeah, you get to punch play, Kong. Playable. And see how much better you are. Yeah. Cool. We. Yeah, so this is the last mission of Kong on Skull Island. I mean, technically. A lot of technically, is right? Um... Oh. Oh, I'm actually lucky. Normally, this like any kind of spear that hits you, you kind of like throws you off. Yeah, and you have to go kill it. Yeah. It was just like, every time you try and... uh lift the boulder up, it'll still hit you. Oh, crack my back, you know. Wait, so yeah, we're kind of approaching the, what would you say, the last like 10 minutes of the game, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's almost done, so. Uh, Get to watch the most, one of the most iconic pieces of cinema history. Yeah. This is where Kong gets captured. Yeah. 
So apparently, I don't know if you knew this, Prophet, but like standing to the far like right where you're going, like if you went as far to that coastline as you can, just stand there. Apparently, it's faster. Like okay. he dies faster for some reason. I'm trying to like, like get yeah. over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like right there is where you're at. Is about where they like apparently it's. I think they need to die faster. Tool. So you have to obviously go through all the um, audio stuff. I love that you're like swinging Anne around. <coughs> your show. Yeah, yeah, see, it's even more faster. Trick on my water at the same time. That's it. No, nope. I mean, he's not dead yet. Oops, early. <laughs> oh, you have a spear. Yeah. Just yeah, throw it at him. Yeah. <laughs> but now you can't pick it up, so... And you can't pick it up. You get to punch Kong. Talk your trash. Yeah. GG's loser. Don't worry, <laughs> gonna die. You gonna talk? The whole oh, Jesus. <laughs> His names will be on lights on Broadway. I've never, like, moved away. I think you're on like uh, looking. I, I think you're, you're gonna get about a 203. I would say. Damn it! So like, uh, is that whatever? Uh, where are we at? Like two flat? Two or three. I imagine do, that's. Do you flat. actually want me to answer that? Like sometime, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes yeah. people don't want to know. Okay, yeah, uh, it's yeah, a little was, over two. Yeah, that's right. Two flat? Oh uh, yeah, so you're about to get about a 203, 205. Well, that's what you predicted like too. So that's kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, 204 is pretty good, uh, considering that I've died a lot unnecessarily. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I love the little, like, <laughs> like, little 2D models. And then they just disappear for some reason. Yeah, there's like 100 people there, and then there's no one there. Yeah, they're just, they're just gone. And for, I love how they didn't... Oh. I wish they would have done, like, an actual theater. Yeah. I don't know why they did it, like, outside. In so, daylight. It might look like I'm struggling. You're 100% right. For some weird reason, Kong, uh, there's like soldiers running around and Kong locks onto them. At least from my experience. So, I think what they wanted you to do was like just, just like, destroy everything yeah, in sight. But obviously we're trying to get through the game. At this point especially. <laughs> okay, I'm... What? Okay. I thought you were going to kill it, but Tony that Hawk's works too. Tony Hawk's pro skater, that guy. <laughs> yeah. And now you got a... Oh, you got you got a good lock on there. And you can just go ahead and go to the bus. Domed. Cool, that was pretty good, uh, besides all the excessive... Uh... Yeah, that's a pretty good in part. Can you not do this when you're hurt? You must not be able I to. I don't know. I've never seen that before. I... A lot of firsts in this run, Like aren't I said, learn something new every oh, yeah. time. Also, the, the camera angle here really, like, you can see me running off to the left. Uh, it's just how the game works. Um, also, he this, hasn't got a chance. This part here, watch Kong's shadow in a second. Um, it starts flying. Oh, it's going <laughs> to float. <laughs> I know what you're talking yes, about. We, uh, I should do it, right? Hold your fire. The thing is, as, as soon as he picks Anne up, he might start flying. Well, look at that HD. Oh, I didn't do it. Uh, oh, dang it. Yeah. It must be on the, um, the... Is it on the 360? Yeah, on the 360 version it happens. <laughs> All right, here comes the final, well, final stage. We still have technically one more stage, yeah. but it's like a cutscene. And we just sit there and like nod our heads. All right, so the whole point of this level is to die as fast as you can. Yeah. Because <laughs> really, what this level is is like a it's like a wave thing to where just even if you can if you kill as many planes as you want, you're eventually gonna die. Yeah. So it's like the your last stand kind of mission type thing. Yeah. Um, what was I say? So this, when it comes down to the 
the uh, difficulty scaling. Uh, if you haven't died at all, very little, uh, this level you can complete really quick. Like the planes take like two shots to kill you. Um, because I've died a few times, I'm actually not sure uh, how many attempts it'll, it'll probably take. be two cycles. Yeah. So normally you can tell like by the first hit, I got an animation. Um, I think I stand here. So you get an animation like that, that's like one hit. So I should have. Yeah. yeah, so I think, yeah, if you if you can get this one to do an animate, yeah, you're dead. So like three. Yeah. Cool. All right, everyone, I want, I want everyone to type Fs in the chat for our boy Kong or Harambe, whatever you prefer. Get a big fat F in there. Oh, yeah. There, there he goes. That's it. That was, <laughs> and then this is this like is the, an abnormally long cutscene that you think is about to end, but it won't. Yeah, this is the last mission, so time is coming up in a second. So, yeah, once the credits appear on screen, that's when I'll, the timer ends I'll, for us. I'll say when. It wasn't the end. Yeah. It was beauty killed the beast. The worst part about this nice. being like it looks this, like you're about to get it. A sub 206. No, that's not, it's okay. But the worst thing about this is that's the fact that you wait, like you can watch your timer, like tick while you're like, this is stupid. So. Yeah, you're like watching the world record just tick away. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> eh? We get ready. Oh, come on. Yeah, stay. I know, right? Give us <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> Come on. Time. That's it. Cool. That's Just that over is. to us. Hey, that was good. Yeah. Dang. That that was not the ending I, I thought. I mean, if you guys <laughs> if you guys have time, we can we can do the uh, positive ending. But it's up to you. Which I haven't practiced on PC though, so I don't know how good it will be. Oh, okay. Well. You're the last one here tonight, so anything goes. It's it's completely up to you. I I don't mind. But the save call. Yeah. So Is that what you're gonna do? Save yeah, call. Seven can do it. Oh right, because there's a couple of different endings. I for some reason like completely forgot that fact. I'm just like, damn, is that really how it ends though? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, he dies. We we have a hundred percent category and uh it involves playing the alternative ending. Okay. So this is it. So it starts out like normal. Yeah, but the difference is I need to survive. And I don't know what the plane controls are either. So. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> this is, this is really on the fly. Budget, so. Uh, the dog fighting. Yeah. I don't mind the dog fighting. Yeah, it's actually kind of fun. I like that they put it in the game. Yeah. Interesting little Easter egg. So what would happen here is if you were running this category of it's called save uh, Kong, you would play the game normally like you would any percent. Then you would go back and we have a certain amount of levels that we think are the easiest to get a good score on. And then once you beat this alternative end, that's what we call save Kong percent yeah. or 100 percent. As far as the game's aware, because, it's technically 100 percent. So Yeah, it's technically 100 percent because Getting enough points to do the alternative end also unlocks all the extras, so it's 100% anyway. What is the time comparison between something like any percent and 100%? Uh, is it is Save Kong? Is it 250 now? Yeah. Is it, don't you have a 250? About, about an hour. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's not too much. It's it's about an extra hour. Uh, to be honest, we haven't really optimized what's the best level to play and that sort of stuff. So. Yeah, we still need to. It's kind of a still a category we need to try out. But I, I I've never had the the courage like Prophet to do it. I just went through a stage <laughs> where I just ran everything. So except spears. Yeah, he's he's ran like every category. So so it is possible to die on this as well, uh, and then the game just ends. Yeah, and you just watch the last cutscene. You... Cool. But <laughs> The spotlights are gonna come on, and you're gonna now show up as Jack I was gonna in a try plane. To figure out how to play. <laughs> now you're Jack in this plane, and you're gonna. Oh, he must have no model. Do you like? Does he have a model? Like, okay, why is the shoot awesome? So actually, on Xbox, so, he doesn't have a model at all. Uh, he's just uh, a black silhouette. It's like he's a uh, a character you need to unlock in a video game. 
Right. So you just gotta shoot out the spotlights here, and then the emergency ones will come on, and then you have to shoot those out too, and then you'll get the ending. Which is <laughs> save Harambe percent. Cool. So I think you also have to take out the planes as well. I don't know if you do. I think you might. I think that's more just like if you want to, you can. I always have, I think. Also, don't uh, don't hate my flying. Also, so this is Anglehorn as well. I think Anglehorn might be flying the plane, or Jack is. Not oh, you sure. might actually have to take out the planes too. Yeah, you do. Yeah, good call. Yeah, I, I've really never played that alternate ending that much. Really, so. I played it heaps as a kid. So. That's it. Yeah, then W. You, can I get a W in chat for Harambe? Yeah, they're Harambe. <laughs> Turn that around real fast to love it. Cool, so this is kind and of a little cinematic thing for everyone. So do a little drive by to show that Harambe's home. Yeah. Yeah, so he climbed down, I uh, assuming they uh, sedated him again and then brought him back to Sky yeah. Island. So like, I can't imagine he was thrilled. No. I mean probably wasn't down. Yeah, he probably wasn't thrilled to yeah get taken to New York in the first place, so That's it. Yeah, I don't know how. Yeah, I don't know how this dude's just flying with no engine. But I mean, airplanes <laughs> glide, right? So. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of just gliding it. I'm not one of the Wright brothers, unfortunately, but I have an idea. So, well, this is a much better ending. I like this one a lot more. Yeah. yeah. Normally, if it was like a marathon where people would donate, we'd probably have like a save Kong sort of incentive. But you guys get it for free, so. Yeah, I mean, there's always uh, other marathons. Maybe we'll see Kong again. Hopefully, eh? Be exciting. Yeah, yeah but um, Prophet, do you have any like shout outs or, or anything that you want to give before before we uh, wrap up tonight's show? Uh, yeah, just uh, I guess thanks for Monka for being here. I appreciate your commentary. Um, yeah, no problem, man. I just, yeah, if you obviously like King Kong, please. Uh, look us up on speedart.com and join the Discord. We love for more people uh, for more people to join the community. Uh, we uh, we live for the intention, so we we want to get Kong to number one. <laughs> we want it to be the best game on speedrun.com. That's a dream. Like, well, what's that? The, yeah, Sub we love Subway Surfer. Like, <laughs> get rid of that. Let's get King, uh, King Kong up there, right? So, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if you like me, uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Prophet Black underscore. I stream this game. Uh, the new Pokemon games come out, so we playing that heaps. Um, so yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you both again so much for being here. It was it was fun to hang out and watch some Kong. But um, that is going to do it for Time Capsule tonight, my friends. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us at the movies. But um, before we go, I just want to say that if you are watching this on YouTube from the future and you did enjoy tonight's show, make sure you press the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in watching our shows live, you can check us out at twitch.tv slash games done quick. We start weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern and weekends at 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, stay tuned tomorrow for No Category Left Behind, followed by Speedruns from the Crypt, all starting at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I have been your host, Smooth Operative. Thank you so much for watching Time Capsule. Always a pleasure, and have a beautiful day or night. We will see you next time. <laughs>